Yeah, let's do what this. What a week, huh? I don't know, dude. I haven't seen you in a week. What'd you, how was your week? What'd you do? Um, got to go back to Washington. Oh. Yeah, the old homecoming shows. That's Saw fun. Saw my whole friends and family. Got to see my parents. How was that? That was good. 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 Was it not? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. It's all right. Did they go to your show? Did they come they to the show? They came to the show. Yeah, I went to their house for a little bit. Yeah, I brought Randy and uh, oh. my buddy Gabe Botten to my parents' house. How did that go? It was just weird. just sitting there. Okay. Was yeah. it the house you grew up in? Yep. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They got to see that. Picture that. Well, Randy and Gabe, I guess I brought them there before. They'd met my parents. Ah. And been to my house Randy before. just goes into the fridge. And starts oh, dude, you wouldn't want anything in there. It's just Grabs old, the... it's old milk and Ugh. eggs and formaldehyde. Like, well, send them some groceries, dude. That place is covered in filth. <laughs> So, my mom and dad had like a basket, you know, like an Easter basket. It just looked like uh, the same way you would draw like an Easter basket. Very cliche. And it's just full of pill bottles with pills in it. Oh, well, happy Easter. It's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> it's a little weird. What are you doing with all these pills? And where is it? Was it in like a bathroom or was not it just out? just right there on the counter. <laughs> You're not like, making this homecoming sound very I know. Dude. Yeah, well, that part was a little strange. Was it uh, Was it like vitamins or was it? No, just things they're medicating oh, themselves Oh, no, with. dude. Like put that in a bathroom. Very, very weird, yeah. All right. Well, how was the rest of it? You, rest all of your great. friends came to the shows, right? Yeah, I got to see a bunch of my friends. Shout out to Kentwood, class of 01, but all the classes were there. Now what? Class of 0203, class of uh, 95, they were all there. What city is was this? It was the show oh, it was in, in Camp? En- Enumclaw, Washington. Okay, is that close to you? Well, the, so Thursday was in Chehalis, okay. Washington. Then up from there like an hour, maybe even more, like an hour and a half is Enumclaw. Okay. And then from Enumclaw, I did a show in Everett. But Enumclaw was the closest to where you grew yeah. up. Yeah. How, and, like uh, how long? How far did people drive? Was do you know what Ian Claw is most famous for? No. I'm sure you're going to tell me, though. What is it? Uh, a man was fucked to death by a horse. <laughs> yeah, I knew it would be something like yeah, that. Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't just be some, oh, yeah, some lady no, got her roots there. You know, it had no, to be some no. good old horse fucking No, it wasn't city. like they were drilling and they found like this big fountain of frosting. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, oh, that's where jelly was discovered. <laughs> Nothing fun like that, huh? No, no, a horse fucked a man to death. <laughs> Geyser of jelly would have been better. And now you right, are, and now all you... the uh, and all the the horse name was Mister Hands. That's oh. that video. Wait, you've seen it? <laughs> I've heard of it. I've never watched it though. But that was like when we were. Growing I don't think it's up, really on like film. Why would you watch it? It's hot. It was like a <laughs> two girls one cup thing, like oh. early internet. I feel like. See, I don't really believe that there is footage of which it. I never watched the two girls one cup, but I know about it. Right, and I know about. I've heard Mr. Hands before. Well, that'd be a fun little video. Put the headphones on. No. <laughs> no, Georgie watching for the first... We filmed George watching Two yeah, Girls, One Cup for the a, first time. That's a different one. We're not doing that here. I won't watch it. Like, I yeah. won't watch the screen. I'll just watch Georgie watching. How much screen. money would it take for you to watch that video? Which one? <laughs> the Two Girls, One Cup. I could watch it. Yeah. I'll do it for a hundred bucks. I've seen it a bunch. A hundred bucks? I yeah, mean, you that's... You can do it for free for, yeah. for fun. <laughs> We're not paying Good you. Good George Dulcich not, content. We're not paying you a hundred dollars to watch. You might that be video. one of the only people that's never seen it. <laughs> I'd be so mad after he. We watched all watched it. it for free. Pure eyes. I'd be so mad after he watched it. We handed the hundred. He's like, it was not that bad. You're like, <laughs> yeah. God dang it! Well, I get, he'll I get know up that it hard. wasn't worth a hundred bucks because <laughs> people are doing it forever. I know. Joe uh, Rogan watched it. I remember Joe Rogan watching it, uh, and he was just like, you know, he's like looking at it like this, and he's like, yeah, that's gross, and he's like, he's like, but I mean, this is nothing, and they're like, what do you mean it's nothing? And then he's like, dude, have, have you seen what's like on the internet and like on the dark web? I don't know if he said dark web. I don't want to accuse him of anything. But uh, they were like, what do you mean? He's like, there's videos of guys like taking Ugh. big hatchets and like cutting their own dicks off on I don't the watch internet. That stuff. No, he that's... goes, there's videos of, and he referenced like three straight things. And so then, of course, at that age, we're like, let's go see that. Oh, no. So then we started looking up those videos. No. So it just was this crazy wormhole to where now he's kind of, now I agree with him. <laughs> Two Girls One Cup is terrible, but yeah. it's also not the worst thing I've ever seen. It was the worst thing I've ever seen at the time I saw it. Yeah, it was so. Well, gross. what you didn't see Faces of Death videos? Yeah, but I, it was just different. That's way worse. I, it was just different. Faces of Death. It was if you like, don't know what Faces of Death videos are, you didn't have an older brother. 
That's well, what that means. Also, because it's that's all it is. It's like some older brother, an older brother's friend, is a fucking piece of shit, and he goes, "Watch this, hey, watch this." We watched it in like driver's ed class in high school. No, you didn't watch a Faces of Death. Video yes, we did. Driver's Ed. They did too. They put it out. It was like people dying on. Well, they would show the like a guy crossing a train, and then the train hit it. But like, yeah, a Faces of Death video has those in there, but it's you know. We watched that in high school, bro. I swear. What's Faces of Death? All right, Face of Death is like this. Back in the day, VHS tapes were like this hot thing, but like there was naughty VHS tapes, like Girls Gone Wild. You know, you don't know anyone that had one. You have to like either order it off the internet or like get it from some, you know, they it just was, circulate. It was a videotape. Yeah, but the Faces of Death was basically like the first dark web. It was this video. Who knows who distributed it or produced it, but it was just collection of like terrorist beheading videos mm. like there's like a video of a guy he must have been a traitor of some sort in whatever country to where he's like just sitting there crying and like he's got his arms tied to two different trucks that drive in the opposite directions uh there's a video of like these soldiers like just kicking around a head like Ever. a human head like a soccer ball like kind of like the way you'd fool around with like a soccer ball everyone uh, just tuned it's out. all the most mortifying shit yeah. you'll like you will literally like put you like in a humanitarian like jesus coma yeah. and my, josh watched that watch that and maybe mine was class. he says yeah he watched it in the driver's ed they said it was faces of death but ours would be like cars <laughs> passing and then wrecks and like a motorcycle going and then a wreck so there's a maybe there's one. multiple of them well i saw one in um driver's ed where it was like a train hitting a guy okay so you did see one in driver's ed but that's not a faces of death video oh i thought faces it was of death was like the branding I thought it was a face. Branded Maybe who knows? Faces of I don't know. Don't watch it though. It's brutal. Don't watch it. It's disgusting. I mean, now they show that stuff on Instagram and Reels and Facebook anyway. You can watch a lot of. That I mean, stuff. not not as extreme. Not as bad. Yeah. But I will say, uh, I didn't. I I thought, and I could be wrong. I'm open to being wrong on this. Um, You're wrong. That there was no actual footage of Mr. Hands. I don't believe that that's real. I hope not. Maybe it's just uh, I I thought of it as a video, but I know that. The name Mr. Hands the guy is a legend. I guess. Yeah, like you legend. said, it's yeah, yeah. him getting fucked. Um, they made a documentary about it. Listen to this. They made a documentary about it. It's called Zoo. <laughs> and uh, here's how like easily influenced slash open minded I am. Thirty minutes into the into the movie, I start sympathizing with the guy that's all these gentlemen that sleep with animals. What? <laughs> Because they make a, such a convincing like no. cutting this do. part out. Yeah, <laughs> no, like if you watch the video, they're like they're like they, they've got like the shadow over their face so that no one sees their identity, you know. And they're like, you know, talking to women is like mortifying, and I don't know how to like connect with women. And we're not like regular guys. Like we have such extreme anxiety and such extreme like problems that like just to sit there with an animal is is very and it's not all about sex like we only have sex with the animal like i met this sheep for like 30 dates before i ever even touched it blah blah also on the, at the place that this uh, sounds like josh and a croissant <laughs> <laughs> i was waiting for somehow to get out of this <laughs> it's great also the um, thanks george <laughs> the video is, is or the the documentary like None of the animals were entered by people. The animal has to have sex with you so they can prove that it wants to. This is, this is the weirdest intro. I love ever. it. What do you What do you think we should talk about? Same thing. Other podcasts. I want. You about? know what I want to talk about because we've talked about this restaurant jobs. You used to work at a restaurant, right? We got to dress these shirts before we work. Oh about yeah, the restaurant shirt. We do. Jobs. We do. I love these shirts. I got. Uh, I'm rocking Jar Jar Binks. Yours is for the nerds. The legend, the funniest and most popular character in Star Wars lore. It's a cool shirt. I like it. Check out the back. I don't think they're going to be able to see it. What does it say? Big doo-doo. Bend love, down a little bit. It says, I love doo-doo. No, bend, with your no, knees. Bend with down, your knees. Dude. Like, uh, like so squat it's almost. It's in frame. Oh. <laughs> you saw big doo-doo. Here's a big doo-doo. He says, yours says, I love doo-doo. I mean, how do you... Here says, I love doo-doo. How do you beat that? Use a big doo-doo. That's funny. I mean, that's comedy. Oh, no. This is way funnier. It's a, to a toothbrush. I hate my job. Toilet paper. Going, oh, please, man. Do you want to try to explain to them the yeah, history of the this joke? shirt? Uh, we were in Las Vegas at the Tropicana, and I saw these shirts every night, and I would read them like I saw them for the first time. Yeah, he was trolling me, I think. <laughs> Because he's like, check this one out, check this one out. And I'm looking at him while I'm buying Lunchables from the little area down there. And I'm going, 
<laughs> There's just zero chance he thinks this is as funny as he's. Every night I would it. read them as, like loud, yell them out to everybody in the store, and uh, I loved it, so I bought it. It's hilarious, dude. Like, it is. It's. It's. Uh, think good. about it. The toilet paper has a shitty job, so that's that's why it's like, oh please, like you know, you get it. Do you guys get it? Hopefully they get it. Um, <laughs> I always wanted glad you explain. I felt it. like Jeff didn't get it, so I just had to keep going and yeah, let him I'm glad know. Glad you explained it for everyone. <laughs> No, but like I thought it was funny how funny he was finding it. it so I funny. found great delight in that. It's so but funny. But I was like, there's just no way he actually thinks these are funny. It's pretty professional funny, dude. comedians. He's going, get it? Because the toothbrush. Oh, he's like, he's complaining. But boy, oh boy, that toilet paper, that'd be it's a like, shut up. Shut dude, up. I uh I like to read them in like different like voices. Voices and Characters. stuff. Like toilet paper's like, oh please. Like this is so much fun. Also, I bought ten of these shirts and I sell them at my shows. This Can is I my new one? merch. <laughs> I always wanted uh, it's 35 one, of, bucks. one of those uh fart. I bet you I bet they weren't cheap. <laughs> no, they weren't cheap. It'd be like you if you did want to buy ten of those and sell them as merch, you'd have to sell them like fifty, 50 bucks, bucks just to have some I know. I actually we bought them after we like won gambling, so I was like, ah, oh, I was in a good mood in Vegas, and it was that was a big shirt funny. weekend. I uh, big shirt weekend. We wore M M&M and M shirts. Jen Murphy wore a red or green M M&M and M shirt. On Josh stage. wore red, and I wore yellow. So each comic that come out That's was funny. wearing a different. It was I pretty it was funny. Great. It was good. Also, guys had shirts that dude. I don't know what he's doing. These guys had shirts that said like. Uh, we came to die or something like that. Oh or, yeah, yeah, those. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they said. I don't remember. There they were, were like, plays on my. We're name. here to die, and it was D Y E. I was like, no, dude, what it are did, you doing? wasn't like that. Oh, that's cute. And I was like, we're here to Fan die. Boys. I was like, he's got to have shirts that say, "Did you die?" D Y E. I was like, what are you doing? Missed opportunity. I'm and I'm gonna get that. this on camera so he finally does it. What the guy's shirt said. How does he not have tie dye shirts? Like, what is it? Like, what are you doing? You're missing think people out. People want to buy this shit. I bet you they do. And you could sell a tie with it. Yeah, dude. Uh, oh, here they are. So the guys, one guy's shirt. It was said, pretty cool. Tonight we're going to die, and then on the back it said like with laughter, and then this one says, "We just want to die." D Y E. Should he not have shirts that say "Did you die," George? Uh, I mean, apparently it's, people are buying them. Yeah. Also, uh, my favorite was Jen Murphy looked at him and said. Did you guys know Jeff was going to be here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, pretty annoying. She no, said, they just happened to wear their Jeff Die shirts to a show just in case he was there. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. She's going to be so mad when I said that because she's going to be like, that's not how it went down. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like – merch is a tough one. What I want to sell is like tie-dye sweatshirts, that like hooded yeah. sweatshirts that are just like – and then they'll just say like really small, maybe like Jeff Dye, like very small. So it's just like this comfy, just JD, like a cotton candy colored tie dye hoodie. I like wear those sometimes, but also it'd be cool because I could just see them and know that people bought it. I don't think people want like Josh Nelson or like the, whoa, you, what? I don't think people want like a uh, that a, that much, uh, yeah. The problem is like I the love. Yeah, yeah. I'm think of your favorite band. What's your favorite band? ACDC. Blink 183. These are bad examples. Or yes, I, maybe I, I should have asked for a different thing. Who's your favorite comedian? Josh Nelson. Josh Nelson, actually. Would you wear Somewhere. a big Josh Nelson shirt around? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. It, it would be funny if like the entire shirt was your face. I'd wear it. Like, I love like, Patrice O'Neill. Okay. I wouldn't wear a Patrice O'Neill yeah, yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I've been on shows with a lot of comics where they sell a lot of shirts. Yeah. So people wanna, are doing it. Don't want to do it. All right. Moving on. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I got to. We talked about this, and I think it's funny. Restaurant. You worked in the restaurant. Yeah, business. I loved working in the restaurant. I did too. Where did you work? I started at uh, my first job was Red Robin. Okay. I was trying to get like jobs at, like a fine place. I was under the impression that if you worked at like one of these white tablecloth places where they teach you how to crumb, and you're like you're like what can I, that you'd make tons of money. Yeah, yeah. But the truth is no. Instead of having like fifty tables at Red Robin. You have one table yeah, that yeah. entire time, and so the the, the tip is. It's and also, same, do you think this guy would be good at fine dining serving? No, no chance. No. So Red Robin, I just crushed, just turned and burned the tables, and then I went to Rock Bottom Brewery. Okay, but didn't you tell me I said I'm, I could be making this up? At Red Robin, that one time you were like you wanted to be the mascot. Yeah, or you were the they mascot. They wouldn't let me wear it. <laughs> You wanted to be the Robin. Yeah, because they would let one of the employees walk around like on Fridays or Saturdays in this red Robin costume. And I was like, please. 
And they're like, you want to? And I was like, yeah. They're like, you know, it doesn't, you know, you, you make tips and stuff. And you, we usually have a host to do it because the host is just, and um, and I was like, yeah, I want to do it. And they're like, well, you're too tall anyways. I was like, what do you mean too tall? The, the costume basically fits like a super petite girl he wanted to or be. a child, like a big child. or so, so I was like, please let me do it. And they're like, no, definitely not. Your arms, your, your arms will show, your legs will show. I was like so disappointed. But I also wanted to go crazy in that thing. Yeah, dude, like... Eating people's Do heads gags, at the table, yeah, or uh, yeah, like and like peck at their soup yeah, in the yeah, thing, dude. or jump up on that carousel horse they have in the middle of the restaurant, and, like be like that guy's nuts. Yeah, they knew better. Yeah. They knew you would make a mockery of it. It would be so fun. Uh, I didn't even know they had a Red Robin at. I'm, have you ever seen one? At, have you been to Red Robin, George? I think I've been once. I or love. Twice. I love Red Robin. They get yeah. the fries are bomb, but I don't think I've ever seen a mascot. Maybe they don't do it anymore. Yeah, I'm not, yeah I, I don't know. See the mascot. Maybe somebody abused the I mean, mascot I, power. I've eaten at Red Robin over hundreds of times, right? But then I've also worked at Red Robin hundreds of times, and uh, I've only seen the mascot a few times. Okay, so maybe just they sits in the back. Maybe they just gave it up. I was somewhere back there, and they're like, what's the point of this? They're here. What are we marketing? Did you, did you get fired? <laughs> no, but I would do little gags. This is actually fun. May I, Scott Marks <laughs> maybe listen to this. He came to my show this weekend. But, like, I would love to do first, – first of all, I was, like, famous when I waited tables. <laughs> anyone, that, anyone that waits tables with me will attest to this a little bit. Like, And maybe notorious is the best term. Like, So, like, people would come in and be like, can we have Jeff's section? So, like, I would have, like, these full sections and, like, people whatever. So that looks good to management. Like, man, Jeff's valuable here. Because when he works, people come in to see yeah. him work. You were, a bring, I, you were a bringer waiter, dude. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. But then I wouldn't do side work. Oh, I would always God. have, like, a 5 o'clock shadow. I would, like, show up super late. You like, got I would, to break all the rules. So unprofessional. Yeah. I'd park where I wasn't supposed to park. Uh, You're like Antonio Brown. Of yeah, the, yeah, for the sure. Yeah. My shoes have, like, holes in it, but I couldn't afford to buy new shoes. Oh, dude, the other servers had to hate hate you did oh, they hate you dude hated him <laughs> yeah. well they, they were my friends but like they were like this yeah, is bullshit like, this is ridiculous like i remember one time the servers this happened multiple times but i've been told this from the source they're like we went and told scott the gm scott marks shout out to scott we went and complained because you're not doing your silverware rolls you're not doing any of your side work you're just leaving and then scott literally said to us it's jeff you know <laughs> he was going like what am i supposed to do he, he basically said to them you know how jeff is <laughs> like, Dude, everybody would be so mad, yeah. bro. It was so freaking cool. They'd be like, "Well, he's getting away with it." Like, yeah, we don't know how he's. Yeah, getting away we don't know. With it. Uh, but I, all another thing I used to do is, uh, I would write on a receipt paper. Like, if I was doing silverware rolls, I'd write on like a receipt paper. Like, congrats, you win. See management for details. But then I would just roll it up in the silverware and like laugh about like, I wonder how that's gonna go down. <laughs> I just like love the idea. Oh my God! So somebody at a table would open their silverware and they'd have congrats. See the manager, <laughs> and then the manager's trying to like spitball, like he's like, "What are they? It, what? what, what? We, we got to give them something now." But also, like, I, it was so nondescript. Like, did they know about, you? Did they know you did that? Oh, everyone knew immediately. <laughs> And Scott was like, uh, "Oh, that's so good." He's dude. like, "I don't know, give him like a free appetizer or something." Give Jeff's, him some. Jeff's an idiot. Give him some mozzarella sticks. I've been trying to spice this place up, get <laughs> yeah. exciting about it. But we would do shit all. I would love. I loved the restaurant job. It's I a also, fun. I would work a little buzzed up sometimes. Oh yeah, it's fun. You can work buzzed up. Because because I don't like the my job so hard. I get to be a grumpy server idea. I like the idea of like, no, it's up to you to make your job fun. It's up to you yeah. to have a good attitude. So like my tables would be like, we like you. You're fun. I'm like, yeah, yeah dude, I'm a little drunk. And then they yeah. would laugh. You yeah. know, just like I would say, I don't yeah. know, you just make the job yeah, fun. Yeah, serving was fun as long as you just communicate to the people. Like, oh. like the servers don't do that nowadays. They'll like be super busy and they just won't go to the table at all. You're like, dude, just tell me you're busy. And then well, you they have come attitude. Back. Yeah, you could come back whenever. Why? Yeah. Why do you? you <laughs> yeah. Why should we feel guilty just for existing? Yeah, I'm as sorry, customers? you have nine tables. That's not my yeah, problem. Yeah, that, this job's hard. Yeah, this job's hard. Would you guys ever be in character for like an entire person's like no, meal? No, I never did. Like, that'd be that'd voices have, or that accents have been or fun, something. That'd no. have been a fun challenge. That would have been fun. I didn't know that. That would have been good. One time, Scott and Triple T were like watching me at a table, and I was like during the lunch rush, and I went up to them. They, they told me this story. I don't even remember doing this. They said you said to the table, "Hey, I've got bad news and I've got good news." <laughs> And the table's like, yeah, and they've been sitting there for a while. And I said, listen, the bad news is I forgot to put in your guys' order. <laughs> and I just went back there and I put like I put in your order and I put on the fly. So hopefully it'll be out as soon as possible. 
And they're like, what's the good news? And I said, the good news is I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and they, he was no, like, you did. swear to God. That's what they told me. And they go, and we sat there for seconds wondering. How the table what, was going to take it. What, and luckily they laughed. And we were like, you just, the fact that they just laughed means he saved his job. <laughs> because like that, like they listened to that bullshit. Yeah, through that's the little, the, the little bushes that the uh, the section had. Oh, man, that's so good. But each table is kind of like stand-up comedy. Like yeah, if I you've ever just... waited tables, it's very similar to stand-up. You have the uncomfortable part of walking up to strangers and giving them your little speech. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, guys, welcome to, is this our first time here today? You ever been to this place before? Can I charge you with some drinks? Here's the specials we're offering and then you also have to read the table like sometimes they don't want you to be silly and fucking around yeah yeah and you got to be able to read that yeah and then sometimes they do like that and then sometimes like a guy's on a date you want to make him look cool give her you know give him the attention or sometimes you want to flirt with her flirt with him kind of like it's like a whole yeah, yeah. thing it's like, it oh, is your muscles bro Jeez. yeah it you is. just say nice things like, that's a fucking cool <laughs> shirt like make him look cool yeah. but then sometimes you just flirt with the girl a bunch yeah, and that helps. And you take her and yeah, leave yeah. with her. Yeah, like, no, yeah, you know, girls love to <laughs> and go then home put her in their server, <laughs> put her in the red robin costume, get that girl to work. I was never under any delusions that a girl that is waiting that I was waiting on would like me back. I'm yeah. waiting tables. Yeah, when you're the server, no bartender, it's easier. Yeah, a way easier. bartender. It's pretty. I it's never like, got to be a bartender. Yeah. But also, like, they, I did. If it was like a, ta yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it was pretty. Or cool. Or maybe he was a bartender the way he was a cheerleader, where he didn't do anything. <laughs> I will say though, side note, my first job was a host at TGI Fridays, and that was kind of humiliating. <sighs> it is humiliating. And I'm like 16 years old, and I'm a host at TGI Fridays. But the worst part is, we for their birthday, we would have to go out. And they would make us do balloons. Oh, yeah. And we would have to tie balloons to their hair. Yeah. And this would be like me tying a balloon to like a 40-year-old lady's hair. It's so funny. And it was just so it would like stand up and it would be funny when their birthday song was coming on. But these ladies would just look at a 16-year-old dude tying stuff in their hair like they yeah. wanted to murder me. You're connecting it with your gum? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't do like, that. Don't do that. So I was just, it was it was terrifying. Like, oh my God, there's a birthday. I got to go tie balloons in this lady's yeah. And they're just looking at you like, don't touch me. I'll kill you. I made a ton of money off of the girl servers not wanting to sing the birthday song. Oh, did you go out so and do the like, birthday? I'll give you $5 if you go sing happy birthday to the table six. And I'm like, all right. And then I'll just go out there. <laughs> I just, I probably made an extra 30, 40 bucks on just birthdays? by singing birthday songs. Jeff's like, hell yeah, we got a lot of birthdays. Yeah, tonight. loved it. Yeah, because they're like, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, perfect. But I'll I don't give a fuck. I would go to the table like, oh, attention, ladies and gentlemen of the Kent Red Robin. We have a very special birthday party. Like, I would just go crazy. I can't believe you're a comedian now. What's well, crazy? Well, I was the best table. I was the best server ever. The TJ Fridays I worked out was like that Greg Giraldo bit where like the kitchen staff would come out. They'd make everyone come out and like the kitchen guys oh, would no. be singing happy birthday. Well, the problem is you get so many birthdays that people stopped giving a fuck. Yeah, dude. You know, like you'd have three servers singing and the other one's like, I'm too much in the weeds to be fucking singing. Yeah. For it was just so many birthdays. So fun though, dude. That that life was fun. But I could see you. You were like an open mic comic. No, I was as like the a guy, server. dude. I like, <laughs> like, and you know, in that movie Waiting. Oh yeah. I was just like whatever that popular server is in that. Um, in Ryan that, Gosling. Where, was it Ryan Gosling? It is right. I haven't seen the movie. Well, but there's. Oh, a, you, it's such a good movie. It's one of the best movies. I have a feeling oh, you've never Ryan been Reynolds. in the service. It was Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah. Did, so, no, did just somebody just yell yeah, that? Just <laughs> but I will say, like, I was just like him. We'd be counting our tips, and I'd be like, all right, I have $600. And they're like, how did you get $600? I was like, what, man? Like, just, I don't know. Just working these fucking tables, dude. I, love I would how... also tell the host to just keep seating me. That's so me to just say the wrong name right there. Just and think it was correct. What? I said Ryan Gosling. I really thought it was Ryan Gosling. Well, I mean, none of us care. <laughs> Have you, did you ever wait? You seem like you never waited in the service industry. I uh, worked at a country club golf course, like as a bag boy. You These were, are just good jobs. You were a cart girl? Bag boy. <laughs> as we, a bag boy. We took you, it seriously. Were you bag professional? Bag boy, cut the episode. <laughs> um, kind, uh, were you polite? I was polite, but we like goofed around like a lot. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I was good. Um, it was fun. It was like... I worked with a couple high school buddies also there, like yeah. summer job and stuff. And like, it was, yeah, it was sick. The way I quit at Red Robin, or sorry, at Rock Bottom, people still talk about it. <laughs> oh God, what did you do? Because it was just like, that's the thing they want to do if they ever quit. What I just basically, 
went out to a table and fucking told him off. It was like I'm a, I should have I should have got like a standing ovation. And then I went to my manager and I took off my little gay apron, you know, like these little like server aprons. And I said, I'm not doing this shit anymore. You guys fuck with us all the time. And, this, and I just like gave her the riot act. And then I like just dropped my apron and like walked out like I was like the fucking hero. And then later on found out like people still talk about that. That was heroic to the servers. Like <laughs> Jeff Dye just gave her the fucking business. Oh, also, I was so doing good. pretty good in comedy at the time. Like, I was, like, climbing the comedy ranks. So I was like, I foresee me not having to do this shit anymore. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Uh, all right, well, we should probably get into this episode, huh? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, also, I want to say um, somebody donated some money for uh, you to do a backflip. I don't remember what price you said. but I want For me to do a backflip? Yeah, remember you said, I'll do it. I think you said, like, a dollar. Yeah. Oh, well, that's no wonder we got the money. <laughs> But I, I, yeah, I want to, I got to find him and shout him out. Okay. How do I do that? I don't know how to work this. Cash app? Yeah. But how do I see who sent it? Is there a way to, I don't use cash app, but is there a way to use? Got go a bunch to, of calls from Pat Quinn, I think. Transactions. Oh, shit, he's the out there. All right. All right. Well, I'll, just, I'll, we'll do it. Out. Yeah. I'll do that afterwards. <laughs> also, yeah, you guys Blown are away. related by Abraham Lincoln. That's how you're yeah. related. Pred- presidentially right. related. Well, I know, but you're problem? like, maybe we're related. Well, I don't know how it works. told you you <laughs> were. Like, I don't know how it works. <laughs> we should, let's do it. Let's, let's I don't know how things because work. I'm, re- <laughs> I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. I am too. Maybe we're related. Well, actually, now, <laughs> if Jeff said he's related to <laughs> the Mrs. Wife. Lincoln, and you're married to Miss, or not married, related oh, to God. Mr. Lincoln. Oh, so maybe we don't. But then they have oh, wait, kids. Oh, wait, they but, have kids, yeah. Yeah, and we definitely came after them, right? I'm pretty sure I'm. Younger. I'm not older than Lincoln. I'm pretty sure I'm younger than the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so too. I think I am as well. Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, I like. I'm gonna figure. So out. I think we are. That's what that would. Did mean. you do 23 and me? Yeah. Or how many kids did Abraham Lincoln have? How, how come they did? What is Abraham Lincoln Jr. up to? How did he not fucking do anything good? <laughs> That's such a good point. You. That's had, a great you argument. Had everything. You had everything in your favor. Bro. I'm gonna write a bit about this. Yeah, dude. That, 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 he that's tried how, to that's how you know back. famous kids. <laughs> yeah, he, he was that's all how you know Famous kids are fucking losers because we've got no Abraham Lincoln Jr. Yeah. There's no like <laughs> Lady Gaga Jr. <laughs> like there's no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you, know, you gotta think like back to like the big ones. Like what's like what if Napoleon Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, Napoleon Jr. Jr. Just like ran a cafe. <laughs> he's it's called Bonaparte's, and he just has like fucking. French he's cuisine. like, my dad was into murder, <laughs> genocide, and pursuit of power. But my whole like thing crepes? was like uh, crepes. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But like, that's yeah, like there's yeah, no yeah, juniors yeah. of these famous oh, people. Oh, my dad what actually we... marched all these elephants across the these cold Alps, and I was wondering if yeah. you like a crepe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt Jr. just sat around playing fucking Atari. He didn't do anything. He could have been somebody, well, and instead a, he just didn't do shit. Is it more of a thing now where like you 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 have fame in your family, and then you you ride that? Everyone rides it. Now. I think yeah, they just they were rich and resent like power and success. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. Maya Angelou Jr. What the hell is she up to? No, not a single poem. It's in your blood. <laughs> no, no poems. Not one. Not you one limerick. Lazy bitch, dude. This woman paves the way. Is the yeah, greatest. Yeah, but how mad are you going to be if your kid becomes a stand-up comedian? Oh, there's no way I'm letting my kids. Oh, do this dude, kid. I don't have kids. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you do, you better. If you do, you think he's going to be a stand-up I hope he's comedian? Better than me. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be so mad at him. Piece of shit. Your if kids. You have, if you have kids, you're going to let them even get close to this industry. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not no, going to tell. Dad, I just want to work on computers. I mean, you get your ass out there, fucking. I used to live in a car. <laughs> I didn't live in a car for you to oh. work on computers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, was, yeah. Uh, I think that that there's a real that's proof that there's no f- where Jerry Seinfeld Jr. What's he up to? Well, he's like six. JS. No, he's not. Yeah, I don't think he's. And you guys know they, they don't up. just name their kids they their same name. <laughs> that's what they if you, if you're Nolan enough, Ryan's you son do it. doesn't did he tried to play baseball? He was sucked. Yeah, well that sucks. I want to see if Jerry Sample has uh, kids. He didn't suck. He played better than me, but he wasn't Nolan Ryan. He what has three kids. Who does? Jerry. Yeah, I know he's got a daughter who likes Miranda Sings. Shepherd. How old are they? And Julian. Uh, this must be the oldest one. Twenty-three. Look how fast he looked that up. Twenty-three. George. And it's the girl, 23. right? Twenty-three. And it's the girl. Yeah. What's the boy's age? Julian. Uh oh yeah. There's also Shepherd. Shepherd Kellen. That's a cute name. That's a cool one. Shepherd. Uh, Good he's for forty-eight. Us. Just You're kidding. kidding. He's eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I was more, I was shocked. Oh my God, Jerry has uh, a forty-eight-year-old kid. Eighteen and then twenty-one is Julian. 
So we don't know. They still might become yeah, maybe, something great. Maybe. Is he a comic? No. Uh, I don't know. He's going to Duke University. That's not a good place to start. So. Basketball? Uh, yeah, the Jewish kid. Ten, yeah, everybody. Jerry's <laughs> son is going to Duke. Duke doesn't remember, have any. He's, he's going to be the first great remember Jewish that, uh, basketball player. Remember that Adam 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 Ray bit where he goes, "I always wanted to play basketball, but like my mom was like, you, you're Jewish. You never hear like yeah. Rosenbaum for three. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think good she's bit. right. She's right. Yeah, <laughs> Adam's really good at basketball too. That's what, is. here's another thing. This might get me in trouble. Like, oh, there's all these stereotypes about Jews. And, and they're always, like, mean, you know? Like, oh, they're cheap or they're, like, minchy or whatever. But it's, like, the real stereotype about all the Jewish guys my age, they they know everything about hip-hop and the NBA. Oh, yeah. Everything. Like, that's their real interest is, like, they would be NBA players <laughs> yeah, yeah, who yeah, could, like, then when they're not playing basketball, like, mix and make music and rap. So you yeah. want that one to start going around? No, it's just like that's a more accurate one. <laughs> it's a little more positive. Is that isn't what it? you want? Is Isn't that down. a little more positive? Hey guys, everybody, uh, they like rap music and right? want to be black guys. <laughs> they love the NBA. There we go. You mm. should say, hey, you know, who was the starting point guard for the '96 Bulls? Would you like to phone a friend? Would you like to phone a Jewish friend? <laughs> You know, that's a better story. He's really selling this one. As opposed to being like, if you had $28 and you had a coupon for $20, how much money would you save? Would you like to phone a Jewish friend? Well, Jeff, You'd be like, oh, no, I don't want to phone. I, 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 See, like, it's a more I'm positive gonna... stereotype. How much would it be? I don't know. <laughs> Five bucks or something? <laughs> Five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> oh, or we, something. Are we already started? We're rolling, baby. <laughs> oh, oh we're rolling. Great. That was great. Oof. Uh, he said, well, we can. <laughs> Our guest. We cannot my edit that out. My <laughs> relative. <laughs> yeah, you guys are related. Related by that. blood from the original OG slave stopping Abraham Lincoln. Uh, that's, he's a, a, that's, as, that's how popular he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Um, that's no. his phone to get out of here. Now this isn't Carnegie <laughs> Hall. We can keep your phones on if you want. It's uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Very, very funny stand-up comedian and uh, very popular with the ladies. Probably the gay boys, but he's not into that. Give it up for Pat Quinn. <laughs> yeah, well, we love Pat. Thank you. Uh, Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah just did Vegas with you. That was fun. That was that was a blast. Oh yeah, how was yeah. that, guys? Really good. Oh, it was really fun, man. It's fun, that was, huh? That was probably the nicest room I've ever had in Vegas. Isn't that, that the cool? cool. They yeah. give you that dope ass room. Oh, it was great dude i fell asleep on the couch outside after we got back home yeah yeah it's just, great yeah dude i had just, a hot tub like in my room you i'm sure you did too you had a hot tub in the room <laughs> well it's like this big full tub. of chicks too That's, did you have that so jammed yeah was it full of you chicks? know you had a hot yeah. tub full of chicks right wow. you had a starbucks in there right with like a breeze and everything <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 no yeah we had that yeah no, but i think like, you pull I, the handle and the wall turned around that yeah, was sick yeah, this yeah, world yeah. is so good no the hot tub dude. too was like i was like i literally like you mean a bathtub or a hot tub it was a giant like tub there was a bath, and then there was a giant square hot tub okay. that looked out the window. And I was like, yeah, oh, this that's room was sick. different than yours, dude. I didn't have any of that. Yeah, I had it. But it was like, I literally was like, well, I don't want to waste water. That's what I was thinking in my house when, like, when it's a bathtub. Like, I'm like, I don't want to take a sit here in a fucking bath. Like, what is the water bill going to be like? But I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna pop this on Bro, I guarantee you know, if you shower you know You're gonna get the same amount of water yeah. You know a shower is wasting more water than a bath Is it? Right? Bathtub's not continuously running <laughs> But the really? bad thing about a bathtub is a man God, is I like, love Are you, man. sure? I love you bro <laughs> My friend Jeff dies. Well, Jeff, you know Jeff. Best, Jeff bathes when he has he has the drain open the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Dude, just the water's just pouring. The water. the drain, just a continuous cycle of just losing and gaining. Why saw, I always thought he's like a bathtub. Like, what a way you have to make all that water. He's just laying on porcelain. <laughs> the fact, the idea of this making thing doesn't even work. You gotta put all that water. Hey, dude, in these there. guys have to make all this How water. How the fuck bro? am I supposed to put water in this? <laughs> it's on the third level. Jeff's never taken a real bath. <laughs> I don't know how it works. Take the shower. Oh, dude, gonna... taking a bath as a man now though. I just I don't mind it. I it's like it. It's more about do you relaxing, do bro. I'll lay in the shower, dude. I don't. I don't have time well, that's, to stand, yeah, that's, dude. That's just sad. <laughs> I don't have when time he to can stand. Fit, he likes yeah. all yeah, the yeah, times yeah, I've yeah. sat in the in the be, in the shower. It's because like shit's not going good. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> true, if you dude. sit down in the shower, dude, you, you're yeah, not really getting up for a while. I got extra time, man. Feels good though. What does it become? That's what I. That's what I'm thinking when I'm sitting in the shower. You guys don't ever sit in the shower? No, I do. When I'm very stressed out. Yes, that's because you can't see the tears because there's so much. No. Water yeah, my face. Dude, that's me going god yeah. i don't know how to get any lower i'm trying to physically get <laughs> yeah, yeah, lower yeah. and just let the i'm water, opening the drain and putting my water. arm through the pipe in the drain i'm like <laughs> please take me i'm the only one that does it for just relaxation <laughs> yeah, no it would be relaxing but yeah. i do it when i'm real stressed oh, no, when i'm dude. real 
sad. I don't that. like to see my dick floating. I don't. I don't like that. Oh, mine sinks, dude. Yeah, you have it, a sinking it, dick. It's so you can't big. float a dick. Wow. It's so that, big, it sinks, <laughs> dude. Yeah, right. How do you float it that? It sinks, dude. It goes straight to the floating. bottom. Yeah, this thing is always floating. Sometimes dude. I use it to plug the drain, dude. That's oh, how big get it is. Out of here. Really? You just let it snake on down in there? One yeah. time I bombed. Yeah, that just reminded me. It was like one time I bombed so hard. <laughs> That I laid on the floor after the set, like in my green room, because I was just like, I don't know how to get any lower. There's something about like trying to like physically be get at yeah, the bottom of the earth, be can. below everything. How do yeah, I yeah, just yeah. get closer to the earth? Yeah, it was so depressing. Oh, uh, it's great. Yeah, that's just called wanting to die. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah, literally yeah, yeah. me being like, this was the worst feeling I could have. Oh, I yeah, don't dude. deserve to be upright. Just punching yourself in just, the dick. Yeah, I hated it. Just, just, oh, don't bomb like that. No, I wish. It's not that hard, dude. I wish. I feel um, like I had a bomb joke at, at the at the Vegas show, and then Jeff kept bringing it back. Just up. It was one the funniest thing ever. Oh yeah, yeah, I loved it. I just one bomb. I kind of oh, made a couple. I made them like overthink the the audience a little bit, yeah. like being like, "Oh, these are just rich people. They want you know, they they're not. Oh, it's God, not a comedy dude. club, you know." And then he he kept like trying to like reference that in a way with the jokes. <laughs> what did you ask them? I can't remember. Oh, do, but yeah, I said something like, about do you guys like, know what a Honda, Honda is. <laughs> <laughs> like they never even heard of Honda because they're so rich, which, which is I, funny if you're on the inside of it knowing what you told them. Oh, I thought yeah. it'd be, be hilarious. Just the audience is like, what? That's they all, they were like, yeah, we know Hondas, and I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah. well, that, it was more like. Then a, he talked about doing heroin off someone's cock. I was like, how? <laughs> how do you, you go know? From you gotta, store heroin. How do you get the <laughs> cock so hot <laughs> that it yeah, melts yeah, yeah. like a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> and then you put it in the. You have to get in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. he was thinking of cocaine, but he was like, "Doctor," he said, "Heroin." I, I went way too quick, and I said, "You, you guys probably do heroin after there's dicks." And then yeah. Jeff was like, "What?" And then he got up there, and he goes, "Pat thinks you do heroin when you're rich off a dude's dick." And he must have said it between each comic. <laughs> I just it was it tickled me. Just yeah, like I was, was there laughing funny. so hard. Thinking. It was funny. Haunted the heroin, dude. Nice. Also, yeah, rich yeah, people yeah. were like, "Who the fuck's doing heroin?" <laughs> yeah, we're seriously. rich. <laughs> we don't need to do that. <laughs> this is Vegas. Life is good. These things dude. were like. Finally, I'm a billionaire. I can do heroin. <laughs> the drug that sells for about $4 from homeless people. <laughs> oh, man. Market yeah, research. Yeah, shake dude. it up. You know. Dude, That's we right. just had something interesting. You guys walked in and you both told me how you guys have Pinterest. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's I'm for, not ashamed. That's for real? Yeah. I, well, I well, okay, so what, I'm obsessed. This is funny. You will you this up. Before you do that, yeah. will you tell me why you used it today? Yeah, because I've never worn an oversized shirt like this. So I was like, well, what is the look of wearing an oversized shirt? Like yeah. what shoes and pants and everything yeah. do you wear with it? And then I looked at like photos of men wearing this outfit. That's not weird. And then going, oh, that's the type of shoes and pants I'll grab out of my closet to make this shirt look And cool. you went to like Marshall's and grabbed some shoes. No, I had it pants. in my closet. I had like these pants and shoes. I mean, well, you look good. Well, like, so, like, if you ever, so here's a good why Pinterest is valuable. Somebody'd be like, I want to wear a basketball jersey to a game. But then you wear it and you go, fuck, I felt like an idiot. My arms were all exposed and everyone, you know, I felt, but on Pinterest, you could go, how do men wear basketball jerseys? <laughs> and they'll show, like, wearing one over, it, over yeah, a hooded, right, over dude. a hooded sweatshirt. No, it is true. He's right. And you guys, putting it over the hood, you knew exactly what you, you yeah, you go, oh, up, this looks perfect. best. Just, yes. Go outside and just do it, dude. That's listen, why man, you look listen, like dude. Look at you. Look at you have. Look at the shirt you're wearing. What are you talking about? It literally has toilet paper on it. You're like, why don't you just go out and check yeah, out yeah, what everybody else it? is wearing? I don't you know. You wearing longer shorts under these Sliding shorts? shorts? What are these? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? You the have, toothbrush hates his job. And I the get toilet it. Paper's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, please, dude. Like, I have a shitty job. You're yeah, doing yeah, what they do in stand up when they tell a bad joke, and they go, "Oh, you guys don't get it." Oh, what no. is this, a pro toilet paper too. crowd? That's what you're doing. Like, you I think, hate that, too. That's my think, biggest You FD. think we don't get the shirt? That's exactly it. You're like, oh, oh what? You guys don't oh, shit? Oh, we must not understand the shirt. Oh, I'm sorry, because that's my biggest pet peeve. Comments to be like, what? You guys don't have TVs? Yeah. Like, Come on, dude. Oh, what, are you going to cancel me now? This is a bad joke, bro. Joe Coy bombs and then goes, people are so sensitive now. Is it, it's not that we're sensitive. that You bombed. It was just a bad joke. I love it. And we love you, dude. But, like, you got to admit, well, you bombed. Oh, dude, it wasn't I know that I we were, they weren't offended. Yeah, they didn't like it. That what a hard gig that would be. Oh, for sure. What's that doing stand up for a bunch of celebrities at an awards? Oh, oh, oh you mean it? Oh, dude, yeah, that dude. was that was yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, not it, did, fair. It, it, it did. I mean, he got set up for failure. He only had like there's what, no like way two weeks to prepare better. that, and you cannot. Of course, you can't make those people. He laugh. had there was zero chance of him doing well. No, 100%. but you have to. That's what he should be telling everyone. Hey, there's no way I could have done good. There's these yeah, people well, he he did come, but don't go. They're so sensitive. Is that what he said? <laughs> well, yeah. Like, it's like oh, I thought some he just came out and said like, I had a bad set. Which that's I, what he should have said. Just, you know, hey, these things, fucking, that's not an ideal gig. But instead, <laughs> dude, I got a little stain on there, dude. 
Got a little stain on. He just See, looked on Pinterest and saw if you don't. Oh, wait, so let's get back to that. I don't know why we're, why we're branching off to other things. Well, the, because you just did this. Yeah, I'm a weird guy. So here's the thing. The um, <laughs> Normally you do that when Pinterest. somebody else was talking and the attention's not on you. You'd be like, I'll get the stuff. You're just Pin- pouring water on yourself. Yeah, I had to take on. care of it. I like it, man. Pin- yeah, get through uh, no, it. So Pinterest is very valuable that way. Okay, I didn't know that. Mm. I thought Pinterest was kind of like... It is. I think mostly women use it, but yeah. it, women are thoughtful about oh. their things and their outfits and their houses. It's great. Okay, I didn't know that. Maybe I'll have to get in the Pinterest world. Well, Talk to my dad. He's obsessed with Pinterest. Really? He sends me Pinterest things all the time. Look at this art. And I'm like, that's tight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's got well, all... I, so I, I, maybe this is because I'm... Uh, didn't have any brothers or whatever in my house. I just had these sisters that barely spoke to me. Mm. I'm always obsessed with what you do with the thing. You know, like this with is a thing. thing? Like, yeah, so I'll be like, I'll be like, it's just going. I wonder how people keep their belts. <laughs> like I don't know what to do with my belt. So I will. I'll ask my friends like, what do you do with your belts? They're like, I don't know. Like I just like <laughs> put them on the hanger and I hang them up. Or they hang or belts? like uh, I roll them up and just it's just kind of there. One of my friends is like, I just take mm. my belt off and it's just I have okay, one belt. Okay, this is a good example. Just, mm. Yes. So I'm like, all right, mm. on Pinterest you'd go belt storage or what do you do you with your just belts? Put up a bunch of nails <laughs> in your closet. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out like what, what do, do people do? I said like what do people do with their sunglasses? And I bought an obo box, O B O, and it's this box that just kind of displays your sunglasses, but like also they're just all in there. But some of my friends only have one pair of sunglasses. Yeah. So they're like, I don't know, I just keep them in my fucking car. Yeah. But I'm always obsessed with what people do with their things. Okay. Pinterest, and is, Pinterest good is the answer for Great that. Great for that, yeah. Okay. It is good for that. It I, is. And I'll, you can also look was... up fashion tips. You can. I have ones on there for like when I get a house someday. I'm like, this yeah. is what I want my, my living room to yeah, look like. And I'll look up that. cool living rooms yep. and I add it into the folder. Cigar like, boxes. You yes. browse all the different types of cigar box and then you wow. buy the one you want. Or like what is a good, uh, you know, like I, I said it earlier, but like what? how would I wear a basketball jersey where it looks normal? Because yeah, I like yeah, yeah. wearing or basketball cool. jerseys. Yeah, I want to look cool yeah, at the yeah, game. Yeah, 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 so I'm like, yeah. well, how can I wear this? Because if you do wear a basketball jersey, if you're not playing a sport and you walk out with a basketball jersey and you're not jacked. Yeah, you better be you muscular or have like good jacked. tattoos. Yeah, good tattoos. Or like Machine like Gun Kelly. These long ass arms, you don't wear a basketball jersey with nothing mm-hmm. underneath unless you're trying to look funny. Yeah. When I tried to look like Kurt Rambis at the game, yeah, yeah, yeah. then it was great because my big gangly arms were like, oh, that's hilarious. He looks silly. You could carry a basketball so, with you. Basically, yeah, you guys should have done that. Basically, you guys kind of care too much what everybody thinks no i just want to look good i'm just curious what the you know what people what other people are thinking too because i go to a game dude i don't care if people are like that guy looks funny i will tell you that but you they care do people think. think you look funny <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you don't care that they think how you look I, ridiculous how, but they think you look ridiculous how do i set yeah. you up every time to just roast me so easily <laughs> well he's like i don't care what these girls think would you, you wear that shirt on a date would no, you want to date me? Okay. That's but why? Was, why do you care what they think? Yeah, why do you care what the girl thinks? <laughs> well, I Pinterest it and it said not to wear this. <laughs> yeah, but I don't believe you did. <laughs> Your same philosophy as Bowers, but different execution. Because he yeah. just wears, he says this, oh, I just wear I this. I wish everybody <laughs> had you doing that on camera right now. That was great. Um, yeah, why can't we see you on this podcast? Budget cuts. <laughs> what yeah. budget cuts? You I guys have 11 cameras. <laughs> I know, dude. There's so many. Yeah, there's I so many. Pay you guys. What do you mean? What's the budget cut? Just put one of those on you, dude. That's like telling Elon Musk. Sorry, we had budget cuts. He's like, I'm Elon Musk. I'm the budget. Dude. I'm the I guy who's gave you all the money you need for what? Came what from the top. I'm sorry, yes. I just think we I would, am the top. We would get better ratings if your face was on camera. Yeah, you're dude, good looking. Kid, you do. You good. Good hair. Are the kids a lot of doing good Pinterest? Insult? Um, I, I don't use Pinterest. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I don't think twenty year olds are you doing Pinterest. Are you twenty? I'm 27. Oh, yeah, but what do you like? Cool. But you, I think they're doing TikTok. I in think those situations, what do you go long. to? Where you're like, oh, I want to look, we'll figure out with how uh, this looks. Do you do any of that? No, Complex no. magazine. Not really. You yeah. don't care what you people think in your 20s. Maybe that's kind of. The I go on cool Reddit. About I think it. everyone cares what. Yeah, people Reddit's think. a good one too. You guys ever go with Reddit? Yeah. Fuck around on Reddit. I get lost on Reddit. I don't. I, don't I like get Reddit. It. Yeah. One time I tried to sell something mm-hmm. on Reddit, and everyone's like, "This is fake. This guy doesn't even have any like." Because I just posted. You can sell? Yeah, it was like this like oh, huge just like, you if wrestling you don't have, like, action account. figure collection. But I guess the collection looks too good to be true in this thread. Like, because the thread is like these Hasbros, these wrestling toys. Yeah. But like, I just came out of nowhere, created an account to like try to sell this like real granny. And they're like, this can't be real. This is fake. This guy's not. And I'm like, I'm real. And I'm really wanting to sell these. Please. <laughs> I'm real. And, the, and I'm really wanting to sell these. It's yeah. true. If you don't have like a Reddit account, with yeah. you need points, to get like they credit didn't trust points. It no, to go they up. discredit you. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't even post anything like that yet. 
So you have to go on there and post first yeah, to get put up to the top. That's crazy. Then you can post an image. It's kind of cool. It's like, good. You know, it shakes out the people who aren't who are bots or stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A lot of bots. You're, you're a big uh, you're a big wrestler guy. Are you into wrestling too? Right? No. Josh dude. isn't into anything. Dude, it's so fu- it is so fun. They're doing uh, SummerSlam in my Jeff hometown this year. Jeff took me to nice. in Akron. I might have to go back for it. I took him to a terrible. He took me to the worst wrestling. I took like him to high school indie wrestling. kids wrestling in a high school gym. I was like, "What are we doing?" Oh, it was I awesome. S- took I me to s- some indie ones where slowly the wrestlers get bigger. Like it went from like <laughs> all these kids basically be playing it was wrestling. The worst. Like it might as well have been just like come to my house and watch us dress up in costumes and shit. But then they'd also booked like some professional guys just to be oh, there for sick. that night. And so that was like the main event. But you could just totally tell the difference. By the One time those guy last came guys out came out, you're like, this is real pro wrestling. Yeah. One guy came out as like three different characters. Yeah, it was pretty funny. You're like, That's what are we so, doing, dude? There's something. I, I, it took me a while to understand what it is. And it's just like a soap opera for men. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And I watched, dude, I, and it's like, it can be ridiculous. I, like as po- I saw I saw one, like a, like something on Instagram the other day. And this guy went to like put his thumb in the dude's ass for some reason. And the dude That's clinched, his move, his, dude. clinched his cheeks. And he grabbed his cheeks, and everybody else kind of kept going up. And then there was this big line of people with all their thumbs in their ass. And then he went, and he threw all the dudes, and they all flew out because yeah. they all had their fingers they in the power. To, yeah, yeah, Kentucky to tractor pull. Nice. It's awesome. Yeah, the tractor. It's pull. also a, it's also yeah, yeah, a play yeah. on a wrestler who got canceled for being like a a, a a bad guy. But his move used to be that he would you'd grab him by the dick, and then his dick was so oh, powerful yeah, that, that he would yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Huh, and the guy would flip and slam himself because he's like. <laughs> Holding onto his dick. Um, Wrestling cool. sounds awesome. It is. Cool. It is, dude. Wrestling is. Uh, it's fun. It's very unsophisticated no, I know you, drama. It's cool. Yeah, I like. I Lucha like Vaboom. You guys like on Lucha Vaboom? Yeah, I love Lucha. Oh, I got a gun or a Ben before. I've heard it's awesome. Let's go, man. I'll take it yeah, all. This shit. Wrestling's fun. Yeah, I took him to like that. a real low rent one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and it was just too long. It was like five hours long. And Oof. the drive out there was long. I'd rather go see like real sports, like basketball and baseball and football. You know, people die in wrestling, man. Yeah. It's a little bit offensive that you It's a real like deal. Yeah. Speaking of which, I need to text someone real fast about tonight's plans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are not, not not professional at all. This is such a good segue. Well, let's I'm get into it. Uh, let's get into uh, the Speaking idea. of what you were saying, I'm going to do something completely different right now. Just, give me, just let me be rude. <laughs> Speaking of this, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm gonna. But I, I want to go to the Lakers game. With, I want to bring you to the Lakers game tonight, but I need to get us tickets. I'm going to make you aware <laughs> of the fact that I'm going to order some food right now. Speaking of which, this is for tonight's plan. <laughs> Speaking of wrestling, like, yeah, you I'm starving. Just, I'm going to order Uber Eats. <laughs> you could have just done it too. That's the best part, and we don't edit anything out. So that's going to be world, dude. Uh, all right. This so Jeff we, world, dude. we have a we we got a little theme here. Uh, so it's called what uh, everybody's got a price. So we're going to ask you how much money it would take for you to do th- things. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if you say a certain amount, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it? <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll do it. You'll do it. Oh, my God. It yeah. goes like this. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you make sure your prices are what you'd really do. Oh, shit. All right. Talk is cheap. Oh, I do that for $5,000. Well, we'll give you $5,000. let us do it. This, is, this seems like a show where you probably have to bring on lower income people, huh? Yes. Oh, are yeah, you, yeah, yeah, are yeah. you? So I'm in that bracket for Welcome. you guys, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks. we've we've had a guy who was like, oh, yeah, hundred bucks. We're like, lock it in, hundred bucks. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. So it is fun, but like, you know, I mean, we don't plan on lower income people. We just work with a lot of comedians. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Point <laughs> proven. Or just work. like crazy people is really ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah just okay. someone that's like, oh hell yeah. That's so fun. crazy poor people. But I mean, some, some, some of them aren't. Some of them aren't real realistic. We'll start this one because it's in the news. Uh, how much to get in the ring against Mike Tyson? Oh, I've had this conversation before. Yeah. Do I need to actually you gotta yes. try to throw I a have punch. to try and throw? It Oof. is fascinating that people believe that anyone would give them even a dollar to get in the ring and run. And they'd be like, uh, do I have to Yeah, well, I've got this conversation. Thing. My no, buddy said they couldn't dive. Even, they said I couldn't even make it. They said I couldn't make it one round without having to throw a punch. They said I couldn't escape the ring. And I said I could. I feel like I could definitely get around without throwing okay. a punch. That wasn't for money. That was just. That you was think just, you could run around a ring? I think for I could. I could get away from him. Yeah. Away from Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without I'm, catching I'm, you. I'm like I'm nimble. I could duck. I could like. God, could you imagine dude. a minute and a half running out of energy in wrestling? That is like what the bad guy does. The good yeah, guy yeah. can't get his hands on the bad guy. Yeah, the bad yeah, guy yeah. keeps eluding him, and the fans are like, "Boo!" And he's yeah. like, "Fuck you!" And like roll out of yeah, the ring yeah, yeah. and then like taunt the crowd. It's like yeah, yeah. if he can just get his hands on him. Yep, I think I could do it. All right. Okay. So. so, 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 going into the ring for three minutes and having to actually protect myself and fight. Yeah, oh, that's what boxing is. God, <laughs> you got to box the guy. <laughs> I don't know that. I feel like I would die. I'd probably die. I don't know. Maybe I mean, I've been watching because he's getting ready to fight pussy. Jake Paul, and I've been watching him getting ready. Dude, he is. Yeah, he's still got it. Oh, he still got it, bro. But every one of those guys, 
uh, that he's boxed didn't die in the ring. Yeah, but they also. I feel like you you build up like I don't know calluses on your head or something. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know, but I know that I would. I know I'd get knocked the fuck what? out. We're gonna just skip past that. He says, "I think you build up calluses on your head." <laughs> You have to have, dude, there's no way you get punched that much and people just walk away, bro. Yeah. You Willie, need to get Willie used to Simon that. thinks they all grow beards. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get Is that how they protect he their face? Willie thought, goes, oh, I don't know, I'd have to like grow a beard for that. Yeah, a beard would protect <laughs> yeah, 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 them. Like yeah. it would, like months. helps it slide off or like something. Like we're, we're way, all of us are fine fighting him because we yeah. have beards. The sense that makes to me though, I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That, oh, that, that was absorbed. talking about slap boxing, but Take still, it it's like the beard doesn't change shit. Those guys are getting whacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. For Man, like. I'm going to for sure get knocked out. I might be in the hospital. Probably going to get a little bit of a concussion. we got to cover the hospital bills. Smart, we have smart. to yeah, he's, he's I have good. to put myself ahead a few months because I'm not going to be able to work for like a while. Three grand? Five grand? <laughs> you think it's going to sideline you that long? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Have you not, have you, have you seen like him hit the back? to come over to my side where well, he's I, learning to thing, talk him I, into I, it. I think I'd win. <laughs> You think you'd win? Yeah, right. Dude, clip I've that up. I've never boxed in my life. Clip that one up. I, I You're take, next. I could take Tyson's 57. Yeah. Give me uh, You're next, dude. I mean, I could use the money. So this is for sure happening if I take it. I'm, I'm getting this money guaranteed. I mean, we probably, yeah. don't, we probably can't get Mike Tyson. No, if he does the thing. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, do the yeah, thing, yeah, you're getting yeah, the yeah. money. Yeah. 25 mil. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what did I say? Five grand? We got people in like the No, low, you were like 50. <laughs> no. Low thousands, low said, thousands. You're you're gonna die. I don't understand. You're, dude, you're right. gonna get so. Now fucked. that you've said your number, we'll tell you why they went a little lower, and then you can decide to change okay. if you want. It's like think of the attention you get. You're thinking of all these other things, right? You're thinking of all the consequences, but think about like the content. Oh, did you hear Pat Quinn's gonna like box fucking Mike Tyson? You're gonna. Oh, get... you're telling me we can build up to this? And you're not, yeah, but well, of course it would be like if we just set it up, right? Oh, we're tonight. promoting this fight. Oh, and, and also ah. like you're gonna be like, able to hang out with Mike. You get to meet Mike. I've That's met worth him. Some value. I spoke you know? weed with him one time. Nice. It How was, was pretty. It? In... <laughs> it was terrifying, dude. <laughs> really? Oh my god, he was like. First off, how did that get set up? I'm friends with with a mutual friend, and he called me and he goes, "You want to go?" to Mike Tyson's and and he's of course. and he's he's Duh. like smokes weed now. well actually at first he goes you want to go to Tyson's farm and I thought he was I swear With to god the chicken dude, place I thought he was about chicken yeah. and I go I didn't even know they were into that kind of stuff yeah. you know I was like okay doesn't strike me as a rancher it doesn't really seem like much of a rancher but no I didn't know it was Mike I thought it was literally the Tyson was, family chicken oh I get that so then we anyways we he we start heading over there and he's like this is Mike Tyson's and I was like well this is way That's different better cool. yeah. yeah and then we yeah I'm we glad just, I said yes yeah, he was uh he was super nice. He was he was a, such yeah, he's a nice a sweet guy. guy. He was so nice. And then he was like, you know, he gave me a hug and he like had a long conversation with me and he laid out like seven like blunts on the table. And I don't really smoke a lot of weed and I was like nervous. I'm like, I don't want to get too high and then yeah. you know be be say weird and stupid. awkward, say something dumb. Uh, so I was just like, man, that's a that's a lot. You think we're gonna go through all that? And he goes, this is for me. And I was like, oh my god. He goes, you can go over there. I'm like, I had to I had to go get my own. And then we started passing the joint around, and I took like one little hit, and then he would like like go to like pass it back to me, and I I was like scattered from the fucking like juke yeah, or something. Of course. Um, and then just a little high, and we started talking about horses for a while. Love it. He's like, I have an Arabian horse, and I was like, that's sick. And then we started like looking yeah. up photos of Arabian horses on my phone. He is. Like, uh, you guys just pray he never hears this, but like he's like an eight year old, you know, like he's like a like the nicest eight year old in the world. No, it's just like so friendly and like just like. Pl- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would like to not agree with that statement. <laughs> no, he is. He's got like this childlikeness to him. Yeah, yeah. He That's is really he, the kindness of him is is yeah. But that that then like that can also change. You know, like the way a kid will t- throw a temper tantrum. He throws a temper tantrum. It's like a hurricane. Yeah, like, I can't remember like, if he wants to hurt you. It's, it's over. He was just doing an interview with. Uh, oh God, who was it? It was it was. I can't remember who it was, but he was talking about. He's like, before every fight, I, I cry. Yeah. And he goes, why? And he goes, because I don't like the person that I'm about to become. Right. <laughs> Which was crazy. <laughs> no, and he, no. goes, he goes, that's the guy who has all my anger and my insecurities and blah, blah. And I put it right into that person. I don't like being yeah. that person. This should be the Mike Tyson podcast. That's all we talk about. <laughs> it's a big part. He's awesome, bro. It's a big part. We just had Chad uh, Kroger. And me and Chad bonded about the philosophiness or the philosophicalness of Mike Tyson yeah. for like 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah, he's dope though. He's he's yeah, he's a good dude to to look up to with that. I when it. I was talking to him, he goes, mm. he's like, I'm just glad I have my wife now because she keeps me grounded. And I was like, oh my god, dude, just imagine if one person ever said anything bad about his wife, yeah. or if like they divorced, 
You get a you get a whole new round of Tyson, bro. So you get in the ring and you have to say something bad about his wife and then throw a punch. <laughs> oh yeah, how much? Fifty-one. To, how much to try to seduce Mike Tyson's wife? Oh, oh my, my god. god! You've got to try and convince her to to fuck you. See, now you would die if he if he catches you. But I, okay, let's see. I mean, or maybe you just have to fight him. You ever heard Mike Tyson's Brad Pitt story? No. So the woman that like his ex, Mike Tyson's ex. Brad Pitt started fucking when he was like a young model. Oof. And so then like she like they're hooking up and they he just it's in this house and some of the furniture's gone to shit cuz they're going through their big breakup and she's like while they're like being intimate with the other she sees the car coming up from like across Good the way and is like Mike's coming. <laughs> And so imagine this is being like, prime. yeah, the, this is, and Brad oh. Pitt's like this cute young boy. Oh my boy. God. And he's like putting on his clothes. Like just, you're seeing Mike Tyson come to the house and you're fucking his girl. <laughs> <laughs> like the story's insane. Did, did my, Brad ever get he it fled from on Tyson? Foot. He for, fled on foot. He made it out. He yeah. never got caught. I don't know what the punchline to the story is because Mike told it in his uh, one man show, but I went and saw the one man show before his wife and him like have rebranded the show like they, she's taken out any part that might have been bad a make you know like, like a wife wouldn't want you telling you know like don't talk about these other girls and yeah, don't talk yeah. you know she's kind of made it a pg-13 show did brad pitt get off scot-free yo yeah, yeah but like Whoa. talk about how terrifying that would yeah. be yeah for the rest oh, of your life God. mike tyson in his prime is coming prime up prime mike tyson dude. i mean, you'll still you, be looking around the corner you were inside his girl like <laughs> oh, like God. literally Killing you. Ugh. Yeah, dude. Sex. All right. So twenty five million is not gonna happen. How much to get slapped by a slap boxer? Oh, dude. Okay. I can make this more realistic. Maybe maybe uh like eight G's. Oh that's pretty high. Those slap boxers are crazy, huh? I don't understand that sport. Pets, I've obviously. tried to so bad. Listen, dude, don't. He's obviously got a lot of money. I, yeah, I, I make it seem like I'm doing well. Need to do any? Of I've these had this things. shirt. I got this secondhand, and I've had it for nine years. So, <laughs> but that's the look on Pinterest. Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> According is to it. Pinterest, is that right here. Good look. <laughs> uh, no, okay. yeah. Okay, if we're being realistic, I'll I'll get up up against a slap boxer for like like a thousand. Yeah, like maybe like maybe like twenty five hundred bucks. Five. I want to pay my rent. Jeez, give me give me a rent, dude. All right, lock it in. It's pretty, it's pretty fair. Twenty five hundred is pretty good price. Uh, George thought of this one. How much to go to a paintball thing and let everybody just do like the uh, what was that old school firing the squad? Firing squad. <laughs> eighty bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, eighty bucks. Bro. We got one, dude. We're doing. Well, what does a up. firing squad mean? Like what? Are, Everybody's gonna. You shoot got a them YouTube from, video of it? Have they ever done this? A, a, a paintball fire paintball squad. Paintball firing squad. Oh, it breaks skin. I've, yeah, I've seen one. There's this. Well, there's he this, already um, locked it in, and you wrote it down. So you should look up this guy named Houston Jones. Who? Oh, there's a guy that does it. No, he does everything, dude. He's like a bodybuilder who will just let himself get annihilated because it's funny. Yeah, it would be funny, and it'd be entertaining. He he does. Anything. Also, you don't have to wear like you know. You have to be like out there in like board shorts or anything. You could wear like. A, <laughs> Oh my Did you God. Just, How much to do that? See that clip? He just got smashed with a shovel. How much to get smashed with a shovel? I don't think I'd be into that. We'll just watch this guy and get people to do this shit. Josh is looking for a new. Oh, I read deal. for this commercial. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was gonna be that. How? Uh, this is the weird part about going into casting offices. Is like 100. percent There's no way I'm gonna become that guy. And they're like, come in and read for this dude. Well, and you go, don't have to be tall. You're sitting, so they can just put point. all that shit on. Oh. <laughs> they cut out the best. <laughs> How much to do that? Can you imagine like this is life right here? This is he. This guy goes. All right, he must make a lot of money from it, dude. Yeah, Jeff, and, some of us have to do characters. <laughs> this is terrible. We just get to look at his like, on terrible light. Look, got, look how like, jacked he is. I know, look at but his, what's with the shorts and the whole thing? It's like they make a whole. And we're supposed to go. Oh, we. It, it's fine because he's getting paid. Like that's what this guy's I mean, argument yeah, would be to that's me. That's whatever. Yeah, but I made six grand off that. I'm like, yeah, but you look like I'm making fun of you because you're fucking stupid. Look at this. Oh, look at the. Yeah, bruise. there's there's definitely better ones than this. Like some of them, he gets smashed with like with Let's like go to uh, the young people one. really do believe. Yeah, look up, see they do if you're getting paid a lot, then it it's it scrubs all the ethics of things. Yeah, well, I got a hundred grand. To masturbate for a bunch of people on the internet, <laughs> so it must not. Now you can't make fun of it because I've made so much money. Yeah, well, that's a good yeah, point. sure. Shooting that paintball at my balls on yeah. the internet you don't have to made go balls. me fifty grand. So now you now now who's laughing? Me. I'm yeah. still judging you yeah, for being an idiot. And how many times can you do that? Right. And also, it's like just because oh. you made a bunch of money doesn't make it. 
You do, Honor, you're doing this for eighty dollars. Also, what this I guy would die in war. Don't show the crown of your head. For That's the, what I'm saying. I need a helmet, dude. That has to hurt the fucking top right, of your head. Well, then we'll give you sixty with a helmet. I'll do it. I'll do it for. I'll do it for seventy with a helmet. Oh, nice. Plus my hair's thinning up top. I don't want people to be seeing that, bro. That is wild. Seventy with a helmet, and then we'll all go paintballing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be really fun. Yeah, we'll, and we'll get yeah, a group. Do a paintball day. We'll Maybe we should do. We should do it after the paintball. Someone's like, "What happened to you?" I, don't know. <laughs> I play a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play oh, a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. All I right, would. That's I learned at paintball. I'd be good at war. What I do is I just find a little area and I hide. Oh God. <laughs> You retreat. And then someone yells, I got the flag. And I come on, was it our team? <laughs> I'll, I'll, Which I'll, is I'll what I think a you lot coward, of, dude. Yeah, I think a lot of troops were like me, you know. But I'm doing it even in paintball. <laughs> It'd be so funny to take going, paintball get so hit seriously. Dude, how many did you people did you hit? None. Full full thing. I He's got shoot no single, marks, no nothing. I didn't shoot a single paintball, oh and I didn't God. get hit. Yeah. I'm not on Jeff's team. I actually, I actually switched teams. I found this little log. <laughs> For this log, I've been, been here for three days. Oh I heard God. footsteps a couple times. So I'll tell my kids about that. <laughs> Take, taking it so seriously that you're like, please don't fucking kill me. I'll kill my team. I'll do it. Oh, I'll do yeah, it with yeah. You guys. Literally, so go, the, please, I'll do anything. I'll please, suck please, your please, dick. please. I'll fucking like, suck your cock. Paintball. <laughs> you're the dude, like, in a hole, like, some guy comes and finds you. You're like, come on. I'll man. tell you anything you want about our leader. I'll suck your dick. Please just don't do this. <laughs> about our leader. <laughs> hey, man, I'll tell you the plans. Just... I'll tell you the plans. <laughs> We're at paintball, We got man. one guy who's real fast. He said he's gonna just go up the side of the thing. Just go. he's probably on the side of the uh, thing. Our best player is cheating on his wife. You can go tell her, please, please, please. <laughs> Chuck, please don't shoot please. me. <laughs> Telling like super personal information. I'm a terrible troop. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. I'll do anything you want. I will defect and suck all your dicks, please. George, please. I am on your team. George, it'll be you and I against these two. Then <laughs> Dude, we, so, we destroy that. You be and fun. me against that, obviously. I'll say anything. <laughs> just having and money. I'll, and if they do try to shoot me, I'll be like. Don't you do it. <laughs> yeah. Turn against yourself. Jeff, it's paintball. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy, buddy. Yeah, I'll right. fucking do it right now. I you know. Know. Oh, God, in your throat? Dude, that would be insane. Yeah, that would be fucking insane. They're like, no, no, don't do that. You go, They're like, oh, Jeff, no. it's not that serious. Do it for the gag. No, you're the opposite. You're so serious. It'd be great to... You'd be playing fun, all yeah, day it's long. It's pretty fun, yeah. It'd be great to really it, die, but... too. If they hit you, go, ah! Oh! Yeah. So and you, just slowly oh, yeah, die just like, in the field. Ah! It was like, Jeff, stop. Ah! Yeah, that's good. Dude, That'd I, be me, too. Yeah. This guy's the opposite. I took... We went, like, tubing one time, and he just stayed on for, like, an hour. Turned into an animal, He's like, you can't throw me off! I was like, Jesus, bro. Like, can the kids nature. get on? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, dude, for an hour, we had to go. Yeah, there's like a kid in me. That there's like people in the boat, so I can't really throw them That's off. That's a real competitive taunting. nature, man. That's you. No, it's not competitive. It's play. I just love to play. Yeah. Because I'm like, actually not that competitive, but like, I was like, oh, on an inner tube, dude, I'm the man. Yeah. Were you guys doing like the tube wars? Or are you just on no, one? No, it was really just one big, big tube. tube, so it's <sighs> hard to get them off. And then there's like five people in the boat, so you can't really go full throttle. His family's yeah. so nice, and they all love each other, and they're like good people. So like you could tell that that purchase was one of like these like big family good people. Yeah, purchases. they did it for like, let's four not kids. buy real inner tubes. Yeah, let's get one big thing let's that all the kids one. can be on at the same yeah. time. It's like. It's a good idea, but it's not as fun. All the kids up front want to get on. Like, what's what's Jeff doing? Like, oh, he's just having fun you for know, an hour. Just crushing it. Kids out are there. It's crying. not even fun for you anymore. You're going like, I'm good. <laughs> 45 minutes in. <laughs> I'll tell you who it wasn't fun for the four other people in the boat. <laughs> just sitting up there? That were like, Jesus Christ. They loved we're it. just doing loops. They get loved him off. It. Get him off. They loved it. They we're couldn't doing get me loops. Off. And we're like having to drive like an animal to try to get him off. So they couldn't just get like, me off. They're just holding on. <laughs> yeah, just everybody like, the, people are flying off the boat. <laughs> like, I don't think you're going to get him. Just slow down. <laughs> We're going to get them. Just cut the rope. Oh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, then you get stranded. No! Treat yeah, it like paintball, yeah. like it you're dying. So fun. Fucking, uh, yeah. I saw a video today, uh, the gum pull video. How much to eat a piece of gum off a gum pull? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm freaked out about germy stuff. Okay. But I guess at that point, maybe do the germs die off? Yeah. I don't really know gone. how it works. Germs are gone. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Do germs... I think, feel like germs No, dude, once germs hit the air, that gum pole. They're just they're gone. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the police the are allowed to now. lie, though, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, dude. What are you. Is this off? You mean like the one in fact Seattle? Check me? This guy's going on. We can tell him anything. <laughs> yes. Just try to get his price low. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like I need to have my own. I need my phone out. Yeah. Like, is, this, is this accurate? <laughs> Why am I not allowed to go see my own information? Well, what kind of fucking we put question his phones is in that? The bag, like, okay. are there still germs? Yeah, of course there are germs. Yeah, dude. but like, is it is this gum like old and hard? How long do we need to chew it for? What what are we working with? I need a few What's more details on this. What's that one chick that did that thing? Have you seen that? That's the viral video I keep seeing. She like licks the whole gum pull, 
Then she bites one off and like strings it. Like it was the grossest thing. Just take one piece of gum off, chew it for fucking 10 Swallow seconds. It. Swallow it. Swallow it. <laughs> Bless you. Take the yeah. Swallow take it, off, it. Heat it up in the microwave. Drink it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> chew it for one full day. You have to chew it for twenty four hours. And then when you're done with Good it, you line. put it in your butt. Yeah, great job. Yeah, yeah. Just stick it in your ass. <laughs> yeah, once it's done, it you out. put it in your butt. Oh, Swallow it up. <laughs> spit it back oh, out. You know, something God. like that. I don't know. Fifty bucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Take way. a piece. Is this like the gum wall I can see? I know what you're talking about. There's a gum pole yeah. in San Diego. There's, there's one a gum in San Diego, Seattle. Seattle. There's a gum pole in San Diego. Diego. We'll go to the it gum is home. interesting, too, because in Seattle, most people are just contributing gum to the gum wall. There's nobody taking from the gum wall, generally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Okay, take a piece off, Diego chew it for 10 seconds. Oh, my God, like five grand? Oh, Jesus. That is like a reasonable amount. I don't want so to eat dudes gum. So outrageous. So gross. You would you would do it for less than five grand? Five grand, yeah. What are you doing it for? Like four grand? <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh God! Four, yeah, a whole grand off. He just found a way to talk you down. Two, dude, I would do it for two grand. Really? No one's even asking you to go lower. Right <laughs> I know, but I we think had a buddy who did maybe, it for free. Maybe somebody would pay two grand. That's what I. And no. we were like, we're gonna film him doing it. Nobody like, would, but disgusting. if they like, did, well, no, I but would you can't film it. me. It's like so you didn't even want a credit for this. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. He goes, I just want you boys to know about yeah, this. Yeah, I want you guys to know how wild I am. I mean, yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, we yeah. were not sober either, though, so that's part of the play. Do you guys are you guys raising money on this? To, that's to the make goal. These things People happen. raise money. I like have it. Stuff happen. That's a fun idea. Also, the term "raise money" makes it sound honorable, but we're, it's not going to charity. It just goes to the person doing the dumb thing. Because that's another thing. Like I hate these shows. I'll go do like a um, celebrity ninja warrior or something. They, they're like, for every leg that you make it, five thousand dollars. And I was like, hell yeah. And they're like, to a charity of your choice. I go, no. What? What is this? Why do I have to give it to something good? <laughs> you guys just keep your fucking money. I'm keeping my fucking money. That's this podcast, you know, like oh, oh, I gotta fight Mike Tyson and just give it away. But hey, also, go fuck yourself. I'm keeping that money. Give me at least. We'll go like, to Vegas together. We'll go to Mexico. It's like my I life's mean, gonna be good till I die. I don't need to give it to some orphans. But I would also <laughs> like to say, if you would like to donate your money to charity, feel free to do that too. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lo lower my hat. No I don't way, even dude. give it to orphans. <laughs> yeah, he decided yeah. to go out real strong yeah, on that. Right, one, man. My point is like, yeah, 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 why? Yeah. Why do I have to do I all know. these philanthropic? Yeah, but things. I think the whole point of it is to raise money for that. If you're raising it just because you want to do it and make yourself some money, sure. That's what we're doing. Well, hell yeah. <laughs> The there's money a, goes you know, to you. There's a chance that when I went to when I went to Mike's office, he had a big boxing ring in there. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. I believe that. Yeah, I was actually scared. Who like, all did you go with? Stay? So it was you. He won't your meta, friend, who's the who Meta was, World Peace. Meta, and there was us. Just us. Was that your friend mm -hmm. that you didn't want to name drop earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now we know each other. We're Not cool. Oh, uh, so how did you meet Ron Me Artest? Meta. It's a long story. By the way, are you, you still friends? We're, with we're uh, you guys are like the on Hinge. You can do like ju like just looking for friends. Shut the fuck up. Wouldn't that be insane? <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah, looking for friends and just see Meta. You go, all right. Yeah, I'll just be your friend. <laughs> we're friends now. Uh, just just through mutual friends. We're just That's we cool. just have mutual friends. I sat next to him at a basketball game. We hit it off the whole. I saw you. Yeah, I, I texted him he was, when he was there. He was I awesome. said, hey, my buddy's Super Jeff. Nice he's he's the best. Yeah, he he's cool. he's really. He said a thing that I. Was it stuck with me? But he was like, "Oh, I remember when I was crazy." Da da da, and he just kept up. But he just said it like so loosely. Oh, dude! Oh, I remember when I was crazy. Like that was just a chapter he went through in his. Oh life. yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Crazy. He's he, he's. But like now. that's that's how I speak. Just like like loosely. He's the about, best dude. Like, he has, whatever. He, he just wants to be honest and just have a conversation. He's with awesome. He yeah. really is like the one of the kindest guys. He helped. We had a CBD company for a little bit, and he was like the face of our CBD company for a while. It was wild. Is that how you met him, or was that? no? We've been friends before that. Just oh. just yeah, just literally through mutual friends, and I we're. we're very close now. He's no, good I'm, dude. I'm so excited that Malice in the Palace thing came out and kind of oh. made him look like oh, yeah. it gave he him wasn't a monster. Because like well, back then when you that, were a kid, you're like, oh, I can't believe they did that. Yeah. Before that documentary, I thought all those players were trash. Yeah, that's what I mm -hmm. thought too. That documentary made me go, uh, why am I judging them so yeah. hard? It's basketball. They weren't in dude, the wrong the amount of yeah. what's going on in your head and then somebody throws it at you. You're like, oh, yeah, fucking. But imagine just having no context. As yeah, a, yeah. As a... As a like as a viewer, I was going. These people are fucking animals. Like, oh, dude, ugh. he's like this is trash. Those fans yeah, are trash. The players are trash. This is hundred trash. percent. You don't th you don't think about like nuanced of like how would I behave if I was an NBA player and. You want to know how well rounded he is now? He he went and sought out the dude who threw the can. 
and then now they like they're like friends. And they're like, but they that guy was the worst guy in the documentary. He's the worst guy. Oh, dude, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's the guy. But didn't, he, out of the whole documentary, I was like, because he tried to double down. I don't know. He think he just got some bad advice or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he's yeah. like, yeah. In fact, I only regret not throwing two water, like whatever he says in the doc. I can't remember. Do you remember the white guy? Yeah, that, he said something weird like that. He, he was did. something like, no, nah, I think it was cool, and I'd, I'd do it again, and yeah, I have no regrets. And, Probably because the repercussions weren't bad for him at the end. He's Imagine a coward. Like something bad happened. It's like, yeah, but Meta like went and found him and was like, I want to want to squash the beef and like you know, I'm. That's why. He, Turns it into what Meta World Peace. That's cool. Yeah. What, do you guys remember what year that happened? Ninety nine. So, so yeah, somewhere. Isn't that crazy that they had so many like camera angles back then? In, oh uh, yeah. yeah. In ninety nine. Like I think I had my first cell phone, which didn't have a oh, camera yeah. in ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet that they have all the. Those are all security. Things. Yeah, but it's just crazy to think like back then they had it yeah. all. Yeah. Like, covered. Oh, dude, it's crazy. Yeah. Because nowadays, I mean, everyone would have their own, everybody have their own video of it. I just read this, that 10 million, or is it, what is it? Millions, tens of millions of data is being filmed every single day just in Teslas. So during just daily driving, it's constantly recording and that's being put Jesus. somewhere. Mm -hmm. So tens of millions a day. I wonder how many like. In, in the future, well, because all that data is getting put into... Um, all of that data is being put into a bank somewhere and collected mm -hmm. to make the sensors and automated driving know all the wow. situations of driving. That's crazy. So it's being calculated and made. And that Tesla's been around for a long time already. Mm -hmm. And so in the future, Tesla will have gathered more um, info than anybody. information and footage uh, than any other company in the world. But that's like that's being recorded all at all times. Security of those kind of things. They're going to be able to use forever. that against yeah. everybody that freeway, drives a Tesla. Freeway yeah. driving, all this stuff is... You know. And think about the data that Honda's collecting, guaranteed. Who knows? Guaranteed. Hey, I you guys know, know what a Honda you is. Ever, you, guys, you guys know a Honda, right? What's Honda, bro? I'm rich. <laughs> oh, brother, you wait. just wait till you find out about these cars, dude. I the CRV, the Civic, the Accord. Honda doesn't even have Honda. I will tell you... Can I, can I, I bet the people at Honda go, what the fuck's a camera? <laughs> That's how dumb. No, dude. That's how poor they are. Here's how sick... My Honda is all right. It's the only car when you turn on your right blinker, it has a blind mirror or sorry, a blind spot camera, and it comes up in your middle console. Yeah, you think that's the only car that has that? It is the only car. That I has have that. that. Do you have it? Yeah. What do you have? A Tesla? Yeah. And you're, you have a little blind spot camera? Yes. Well, maybe you've never been in a Tesla. <laughs> You thought Honda was the only thing that had that? I don't know, dude. I'd like to live my There's life one mile at a time. There's over hundred cameras on my He's car. Like, I got a Honda, and I got this thing. They when thought I, of that one. When I hit yeah, a Jeff horn. Jeff just claps, and his car pulls up like yeah. a horse in an old Western. Yeah, it's awesome. That's sick. He's like, my car Honda only has this thing where you hit the button, and this horn comes out. It's the only <laughs> car you that You go like this. It. Every time you push it. <laughs> oh, dude. I can't even. Car. I can't honk my horn, because the Honda horn yeah, is such know. a bitch horn. It goes, meep. Yeah, you don't want And you can't get mad at somebody in traffic go me yeah beep, beep. they're like yeah we're gonna keep cutting you <laughs> yeah, we don't want you we don't want to deal with that guy at all yeah yeah i got into a cyber truck yesterday it was pretty sweet oh i've heard they're very spacious inside they look yeah they're very similar looking to just a regular tesla uh, but, there's, but there's a screen in the back too there's okay. also a touch cool screen in the back i um i was on the list to buy one and now i'm not going to i don't love how they really? look outside wise yeah once i saw the way they look driving around i've decided not to get it i did see somebody who got it custom painted on the outside and it looked pretty sick see that well, would, but i, I would be interested in seeing i don't like that. how yeah. low it is it looks like a low van <clears throat> yeah i want a monster a, truck can you raise it oh yeah, you could, Probably but like are. not enough Oof, to make getting it. Getting a custom raised to, uh, Cybertruck would be sick. That I have a, a lifted with military wheels Model Y. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. That looks cool. Well, I don't know if you heard about mine. I have a Honda Civic 2020. Right, the only car. The only car out there with a blind spot mirror. By the way, way to go, Honda. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this has been brought to you yeah, by, by Honda. Honda. Maybe we should just start doing that to get sponsors. We'll just, just see what happens. Throwing sponsors it's out brought there. to you by Lunchables. <laughs> He really, My favorite. Are you hungry? I'm You're gonna be honest. Hungry? He should be sponsored by Lunchables. Dude, I'm He's a got big fan. 19 in his him? fridge. Oh, which which one are you eating? Jo I just like the OGs, the the, the crackers. Pizza. No, the, the pizza is good. The oh, meat. The pizza's where it's at. Yeah. So this is why I love Jeff. Jeff, is, it's not even a real pizza. Jeff, <laughs> the that's the best part. This is why I love Jeff. Like, it's like it's like cold red Dude, sauce. What if you just bring my fucking mind right now? Like muffin. It's like like this is not a pizza. 
That sauce is better than any sauce you could buy at a store. It's half sugar. Oh. This is why I love him, dude. Dude, this is like... He's doing all right. His whole fridge, he's got right now, he's got a, a Brita with water. He's got some egg whites uh, that he's never going to use, and then 19 Lunchables. And yeah. that's literally it. That's it. Dude, his whole fridge. That's all I need. The rest of his house, very nice. <laughs> that's it, though. What's up, baby? What you want to eat? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You know what he does? He yeah, makes yeah. it like he does a charcuterie board with yeah. Lunchables. Dude. That's what a Lunchable is, dude. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. That's it's a great a idea. It's a charcuterie board. <laughs> I'm the everyday man, but I still like uh, some cheese. Damn, dude. If you start calling the blue collar charcuterie board, yeah, they pretty, should hire me. That's a yeah, good spin. That's a good way to right do there. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cut I'm an up. everyday man. This that's is the charcuterie the board for the working man. Yeah, that's all it yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you have to lift it like this. You ladies uh, hungry? Daddy's got you. Oh, no. And it's like, but we thought you were rich. It's like, hey, I didn't sell out. <laughs> I didn't sell out. That's good. Yeah, but I didn't sell out. You know, oh, man. just because it's cheap, don't mean it's expensive. You know what I mean? That's like right, inside, dude, we're trying to live. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we hit you with the slap boxing. We got yeah. a couple Mike more. Tyson. Couple okay. more questions. Mm -hmm. yeah. How much to go and uh, do stand up and not say a word for three minutes? <laughs> Done that before, bro. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, you, I've just bombed it, but like, just you know, when you have one bad joke and then all of a sudden you you can't stop sweating. Yes, and you're like, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, oh no. you've done it before. Go up, this you mean go up with, ever. and there's no obviously there's no preface to this. I have to yeah, walk up there. Uh, and just stand actually, for like, three yeah, minutes. we gotta start doing a dude. Soon. Just books you, and you just go up and you and just stand for three, three minutes. minutes you gotta like time. just act like you can. Can I tell you something? I think I would do it for maybe a hundred bucks because I feel like I'd probably get a lot of I'd get good some tests. Laughs. Yeah, yeah. I, I guarantee after one minute, people are like, What is happening? Two right. minutes, people will be cracking up. My biggest fear is that because the but part the of third minute. But can you do like facial? Yeah, you yeah, can no, do no, that. no. Yeah, you can do oh. all that. You just can't I'm say in, a word. Dude. Part of my rule, but, but I think here's what I'm most uncomfortable about is because the rules for this one is that like you can't tell anyone you're going to go up and do that. You yeah. can't tell the booker. But like I think the booker white might intervene at like a well, minute. Well, yeah, that's or, fine. You could tell. I know, the but that would make oh, me uncomfortable. I just hang don't on, hang want, on, hang on. Yeah, you just can't be. I don't like, want him being like coming up like, all right, sorry about that, and then you're just standing behind him like looking at your clock going up. No, no, no. If they kicked you off, then you get I credit. See I know, but that sucks. I don't want him yeah. to think I'm. I'm like I'm doing a thing. So this yeah. isn't like a show you guys have set up. This is this is a regular show oh, in LA. Like, God, dude, what if we do that? We'll set up a show with everybody that just doesn't do any comedy <laughs> for fucking. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> The host just keeps bringing them up, and you just keep on walking around with a charcuterie board of yeah, of like just that. passing it around. Be like, nope. Do you guys, if you want to do this three minute thing, three minutes no talking, and you're uh, you you can do it this weekend for Chris D'Elia at the Ale Smith Brewing. <laughs> He'll give you a spot. <laughs> okay. Well, I this, would do. I would this do. Won't come out. The show will already happen. <laughs> no, but, so. but we'll have the footage of it. Yeah, we can put it in. <laughs> I'm not doing. You don't get a spot. It's on like that. on a See, big nobody show. Nobody wants to let it happen. Josh I is the booker, so well, he'll know what yeah, you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a spot on like a show not so, okay, that big. Okay, so this this changes. Well, why can't? I mean, you could do it. It'd be great because you're the booker. Can you imagine how how Actually, much Delia would go to fucking town on it? I would like so mortifying. He wouldn't. He wouldn't see your set anyway. But no. But can you imagine if he did walk in and it was just a dude standing there? Yeah, he's like, what the fuck is this? Just panicking for three minutes. I would get the shit for it. Just oh, doing for this. Sure. <sighs> I like the. Th I think if I had to do it, he said he'd do it for a hundred bucks. Well, I'd like to like maybe. I gotta change my look at my notepads. Like just keep acting like I'm gonna in. like look like I'm just searching for jokes. <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, and then be like. Uh, and just scratching things out. Uh, but so, can you imagine this will be if you did if you funny. did that if you had your if you had your notes up there and you're going have you seen uh have but you seen three uh, minutes, uh, dude. planes trains and automobiles? Yeah. The greatest one of the greatest movies ever. In the beginning when like they're getting ready, they're trying to leave for the weekend to go back for Thanksgiving, and that guy's looking over the sheets and he keeps going <sighs> and he keeps going. If you did that for three minutes, yeah, you I'm get, telling you, you get you get crazy laughs. It reminds it, me of it would of, go like um, this. I yeah. think you wouldn't get any laughs, and then you would get laughs, and then minute three or. And if be you like, just said thank you, <laughs> it reminds me of this. Have you guys ever heard this? How's everybody doing tonight? Have you heard this? I gotta tell you, I don't know. I don't know. You know, <laughs> all this stuff that's going on in the world today. It's like, hello. <laughs> he just doesn't say anything. He's not doing comedy at all. He's just making He's just being generic. Comedy. <laughs> How's it getting immediate it's laughter? Crushing. I mean, seriously. I mean, come on. If that's the way it's going to be, no thank you. Everybody knows. It's all these cliches. Mean, seriously, it's like, you got to be kidding me. Give me a break. <laughs> I mean, it's really nuts. You got guys over here going, hey, check it out. You know, 
You know how hard that is to not say anything? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> here I am going, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so good, dude. Knock it off! So he does that That's forever. Funny. And Who then is that? The, the once he like lets it kind of die down, he's like, what else is going on? <laughs> just like, who, like, who is that? Do you know who Andy it is? Andy Daly. Oh, okay. Andy so Daly. Such a great character. He's basically mocking us. Yeah. But yeah. it's so perfect. That would be That's harder. such a Seinfeld mock, it felt like. And I'm like, what? Yeah, the yeah, crowd was really in it right But away. it is really the f- the b- the root formulas of jokes in yeah, a way where absolutely. you're like, I think this is absurd, and I'm the reasonable one. I'm going, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa yeah, hey, people hey. are like this, and people are like that, and not me. I'm like, oh, hey, I didn't funny. sign up for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. perfect. That's good. All right, well, back to that really fast. I need to change my answer now because I didn't know. I thought this was a show you guys have. If I'm going on to a, a produced show in L.A. Yep. Well, you could do it one of the shows. You, you could, could do it, do it at Poncho's tonight. Oh, okay. Three so I can choose to, the show. Yeah, no, it's room. not like you have to do it at the improv. Okay. Although, don't do it tonight. You can ruin your... It's like the 11-year anniversary. Can you imagine if I did it tonight at Dano's Dan 11th would year anniversary? Out. He would never talk to me again. Dano has like 9 million shows a year that he books, runs, and performs on, and yet he's still nervous. He's still like a mess every time I see him I like know. at the show. Hey, he's like, uh, he's I don't know, like two more than you, and like he's really, he cares so much yeah. that he does. it goes well. He's the man. He's Why such a good guy, but I'm like, dude, this is you know how it's going to go. It's ponchos. It's going to be great. Yep. So yeah. true. It's yeah, gonna just be, don't put Daphne tonight, right? Springs and you'll be fine. <laughs> Why are you hiding? I don't. I don't want to be involved in any cross contamination comic stuff. I'm good. I'm cool. Too speak. late. Too late. Yeah, dude. Daphne Springs sucks at comedy and she's a bad person. <laughs> those are two. Those are the two variables I judge most, and she has both. Uh, can we zoom out on? <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera just on Pat. <laughs> I do not speak. <laughs> My co- my commitment uh, to truth. It's right. like you guys. I get up there's just just finger marks in the chair. Yeah, Squeeze yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. out of it, dude. You could do it at Candy's. We could do. You could do it. I'll, uh, I'll do it. Yeah. If I do if I do it at Candy's, I'll do it for hundred hundred fifty dollars. You <laughs> said hundred dollars. What are you adding? I didn't know if you forgot. Hey, you got a little bump and pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. I'm it's going up. Funny. One fifty. Dude, that would be so funny to do a producer. I'll for show. sure. Also, I'll like for sure, do it. Think at about this though. If you have a fifteen minute set, then you got to like just. Rear into it, you know, because after those. Oh, three you want to still go into comedy? Yeah, yeah. That? I think that like the, then they'd be like, I really liked him. I, think I liked got, that I think guy got... that was like third, but <laughs> he just didn't say anything for three minutes. Because like it's gonna make them uncomfortable too. They're gonna be like, "Come on," or like they're gonna say something. It would be very They'll interesting. Like, You're all right, dude. You got like, it, buddy. Go ahead, like, buddy. All supportive. You got this. Come on. Yeah, if you or like going... heckling, like no sure, because <laughs> they'll they'll feel like this tension. <laughs> I feel like. I don't know. I think it'd be really funny to leave right after that. But also, what if you, rather than do it at the beginning, think about putting it right in the middle. <laughs> oh, you just panic. You're doing all this stuff, and then you just... That's cl- great. Cliffhanger. That'd work for my notes thing, where I'm just looking yeah, at my yeah. notes. Oh. And they're like, what's happened? You and just, just like, nervous? W- wipe one tear. <laughs> and that three minute would be so long. <laughs> three minutes halfway through your set? So long, dude, dude. 30 seconds on stage. One time I thought that I didn't say anything. I was like telling everyone, I was like, oh, it's so funny. I paused for like two minutes and they were laughing the whole time and listen to the recording it's like i paused for like 30 seconds <laughs> yeah and they it were feels laughing forever. the whole time but that felt like two minutes i told the oh. story forever oh, man. having a bomb on stage you feel like you're up there for at least from what i've heard i've never yeah you uh, don't bomb i've never yeah. but i heard it's like Josh. a lifetime i haven't I bombed like all right one Pat. more are we done yeah go ahead let's do one more one more how much to uh write a bull well, I've always wanted to do that. Ride a bull. I would do that for. I feel like I knew that. I would love to do that. Although I have, I have bad wrists. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of wrist in that. You know. I don't know. I need to do a lot of this stuff to get ready for the. Because you hold it. You know. Also, I heard that they don't actually choke the bull's nuts. That's that was a myth. They don't do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. They, I think that I think it's actually they put the thing on it, but I don't. It's not like painful. It actually, maybe in Spain supports or them. They do it different. Well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know here rodeo. they just they kind well, of they pat, they pat kill the nuts in Spain too, so yeah, it's definitely stab way different. They sh- stab them with a sword. Yeah, it's they do insane. a lot of bad it's stuff. It's the most there. disgusting thing I've ever yeah, seen. But what you yeah, say? Yeah, they just yeah. pat the nuts like that? Yeah, before they walk out, they go, "Good boy," and they just get. No, really? I, I don't think they do anything. I don't and think the, the nuts are tied comes, up. And he's like, "Thanks, guys." <laughs> Bull's like, "Oh fuck yeah!" Yeah, just running out. I was gonna give this guy hell, but I'm feeling a little relaxed now. That's what we do before the silence set. Yeah. The bull, I'll tell you what. the bull just walks out and lays down. You have to cuddle with the bull for three minutes. I was going to get this minutes. pussy off my back in about eight seconds, but now nah, I feel like a nap. You yeah. know what? You got a cig? This bull's just like, hey where man, are you, you from? Wanna watch YouTube with me? <laughs> Let's watch YouTube on your phone. Yeah, I want to. This bull rules. Tell me what you're into. Oh, Lord. Uh, okay, bull riding. 
there's 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 a chance of I'm gonna go through my list. There's a chance of death. Oh Jesus! There is a uh, what I can't I can't go through and do my. I mean, stuff. you could walk outside <laughs> and you could die. Like this, is, what are we doing? Thing, what do you have a bunch of fucking idiots on here who just go hey, thirty bucks no, and just say it right away? They don't very, ask for. Listen, nobody calls Aaron Marsh an idiot. All right. <laughs> what did Aaron Marsh go he, for thirty bucks? Like things like that. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for. <laughs> it's no offense to Aaron Marsh, but. Sounds like a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> I would do. Uh, I'll do. Uh, give me, give me three hundred bucks. I'm on a bull. Three hundred bucks. Oh my god, lock cheap. that in. That's for sure. That'll be fun. I got. I went pretty low on that too. So what, we'll what'd do you it go together? I don't know, but you guys will write it together. Yeah, well, no, not at the same time. <laughs> we're hitting each other's heads because we're just trying to stay on. We're like we sit, we sit facing each I've other. I've done this tandem. <laughs> I love the idea. I only do this solo the usually. Two, two of them on a tandem bowl. <laughs> oh god, I don't even think they'd let us do it. Yeah, they would. <laughs> We'll pay an extra Sounds 50. Sounds awesome, though. <laughs> then we just, we're just wearing, wearing a trench coat. I'm on Jeff's shoulders. I'm like, I swear, just me. Yeah. You know what's funny? is like all my prices. They're like, all right, Jeff, how much to do this? And then I go, uh, I do it to impress a girl. And they're like, all right, write it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how much to ride a bull? To impress a girl? <laughs> oh, that's always what it it's is. It's all to impress a that's girl. That's always what it is at the end of the day. Just it's like, bring a girl and then I'll do it. Which girl? I don't oh, know. A girl. Is there a woman there? <laughs> just my a mom girl will be that there. I can impress. Oh, man. I'll impress your mom. <laughs> yeah, Did you, whatever. you I was watching like a workaholics clip the other day. It reminded me even this podcast reminded me of it because he goes, uh, he's like, would you suck a dick for fifty thousand dollars? He goes, yeah, I think I. Adam Devine's like, yeah, I think I'd probably fucking suck it. And he keeps on going down. And he goes, okay, what's your lowest point to suck a dude's dick? He goes, ah, thirty bucks. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and right when he says it, they run into a dude in the car <laughs> to hit a dude in the windshield. You gotta watch the clip. It's so oh, fucking yeah. funny. But it he is, said thirty dollars. That's this is a game that all bucks. dudes play. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, sure. Yeah, yeah. The Especially, problem is we try a way to stay from the, the dick from, one just because well, you know. Well, my there's a <laughs> comic. We don't want you to have to, to do like, it. I don't Sometimes remember the comic's name. He's gonna kill me that I don't remember his name. It's Asian guy, Jimmy Chin, maybe I don't remember. But he has this or uh, Jimmy Yang, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy o Yang. Yang. Oh Yang. I don't remember who it is. The dude from uh, uh, Silicon Valley. No, different guy. It's not oh. Jimmy O Yang. There's a comic. I don't. It doesn't Shay. Matter. I like how you started Jimmy saying. Uh, I don't remember his first name. Tom Arnold? It doesn't matter. I don't even know why I'm trying to get his name, but just know that he'd be annoyed that I'm telling his joke without giving him credit. But he's a joke where he's like, we used to play this game, like, would you suck a dick for like a million dollars, you know? We'd always be like, would you suck a dick? Would you suck my dick for a million dollars? And then, uh, he's a millionaire now. <laughs> and, uh, we're real that's nervous. really funny yeah. Yeah. that's oh, really, really funny great. that's he's a millionaire but you would we grew yeah. up we grew up and that guy he's is like hey man super rich remember that, what you guys said asking that question just pulls up the tesla model y the next day like, hey, wait a minute hang on what do you think hang the chickens on. would come to roost i'm back to call you on the bet well that was fun man yeah pat where Thanks can people on, find you that brother? was really fun oh you can just go my my site has it all i am patquinn.com that's I where, am what's where you find Pat everything? Quinn. I am, am patquinn.com. You have nice. my socials, my shows, and we have a podcast too. Check out our podcast. Yeah, we, I'd love to. You guys, love you guys should come on together. Called? That'd be fun. It's called uh, No Pill Friday, where me and Audrey Stewart don't take our ADHD medication, oh, and it just hilarious. goes off the rails. Yeah, <laughs> I love. That. There's literally no, when you listen to it, you're gonna go, "Is this is this a format?" Because if it's you not, like chaos, if you like pure uncontrolled chaos, yeah, then that. come listen to that one. Oh, that's, that's a great. fun one. I'd yeah, love to, I'd love you to and be on. I don't want to be on it with him, but I'll be on it. I'll have you guys on separately. Yeah, Fuck we're, you, we're man. I'm gonna be a dual guest. <laughs> I know you need all the attention. We're going tandem on guests now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's we, like, I need. We all start the a attention. podcast together, and all of a sudden now we got to do everything together. No, dude, we don't have to do anything together. <laughs> oh, actually, a funny thing happened at the um, that I wanted to tease Audrey about. What's that? Oh, at the <laughs> when at, we had the Vegas thing. Yeah, I was like, she's like, how you know? I was really shitty about communicating because I'm not a booker. Yeah. So like he had to kind of like ask me, hey, what's the deal with Vegas? The, are we still oh, doing that? Oh, it was the funniest that? thing actually because Jeff goes, I was like, hey, is it still open? I'd love to jump on, you know, and if there's room for Audrey. And then like a while later he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, isn't it in like three days? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just so not a booker. I'm oh, not like know, a logistics dude. guy. Oh, dude, he didn't tell us the time I'll or the show was at anything, like which I didn't care. I the night before if I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then exactly the day of is. I'll deal with shit. You know, yeah, I know, I'll, I'll get things done the day of. But like, so they're like, they, they're telling me like, what? <laughs> is it happening still? Like, I what? felt bad texting him. I was and like, also, I think there's an element of like this might be too good to be true too. Like, is Jeff exaggerating this? Oh, so, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, listen, rooms are taken care of. You know, get whatever you want. I'll take us to like a nice dinner and everything. the The show will be, you know, do 15 minutes. I'll give you a thousand bucks, and then you know, just get to Vegas. If you want to come early, we'll have a. You can have the room for two nights. Just blah blah blah. All the details. Well, I didn't know that part. What? I didn't know the two night part. You yeah. could have. Yeah, you could have came early. You guys right, didn't I'll come want back. To. I think I did text about that. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Because Brant didn't. He was like, oh, I'm going to come the day of. I was like, so I was just sitting in Vegas alone. Brant got there seven minutes before the show started. I know. He's the, I love that guy,
I think it was an ADHD moment. She's like, is it cool if I just do 10? I was like, I'm paying you $1,000 yeah, to do 15 minutes and you're negotiating for going 10? down? What? Like, she's gone, how about I do less? You're like, all right, for 500, you can do 10 minutes. You flashed the light at me. I was like, I feel like I haven't done my job yet, dude. Yeah. I, I haven't, I've been talking about heroin. Oh, no, you do minutes that every is... time. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker is... runs dude, the light so Josh hard every so, time, dude. Josh got so mad at me at the show the other night because he had, he had, I don't know, six people in the audience. And he goes, I go, hey, can I just do one more joke? And he goes, yeah. And then I got off stage and he goes, the fuck, dude? And I like go, a five minute joke. I, go, I did do a long close. Cool. <laughs> I was like, hey, sorry about that, bro. Yeah, the- but one, one more joke is not like a five what minute story. What was the story. show? Uh, it was when we tried to move candies to Avenue. Oh, okay. It was fucking brutal. I don't what know. is it funny is like this is the only job where you get paid or you get yelled at for doing more work. <laughs> That's such a good point. Any other job, it'd be like, I'm going to stay a little late, yeah, work yeah, a little yeah. harder for free. I'll, for the same I'm gonna price, do this for free. I'll just stay extra. I'm well, going to do more. We and they go, no, yeah. stop doing more work. Stop Cause, it. Because we got all these other guys that want to do more work too. Well, they want to work. He wasn't last. Uh, yeah, I was. I think still, I was actually he wasn't second. the best. He was early, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was so much. Well, why'd you have to jab me? Like all right, that, bro. guys, on that note, let's get out of here. Ja, go to jeffdie.com for all of my dates. Thank you guys for being show- for showing up. It's been fucking a dream lately, and I'm very grateful. Uh, but go to jeffdie.com, and then uh, you can see all the places I'm going to be. Josh Nelson Comedy. Uh, if you like the shirt, I'm selling them. Vote just, on my shirt. Just Pick let me my know. shirt. Uh-huh. Are you really selling these shirts? No. <laughs> I was like, why does it say Lost He couldn't afford to turn those. No, these are like $35. I'd have to sell them for $50, so no. Yeah, they come in one uh, size. Josh Nelson Comedy. That's it, man. Appreciate you. Uh, that was fun.